100 years ago, monsters raged across Victusia. They destroyed farms, decimated the dwindling animal population, and attacked our people on sight. Famine and death swept the land. No one had dared to hunt and cook monsters for centuries, fearing their cursed flesh. It was then that King Heinrich and Chef Robichon delivered Victusia from the brink of extinction. Together, they built the finest culinary institution this world has ever seen, the Battle Chef Brigade, a legion of elite soldier chefs on the frontier of the culinary world. Now, battle chefs across the land stand as our protectors and providers, bringing monster cuisine from hunt to table. As summer begins, so does our tournament, drawing forth the next generation of culinary warriors. What new styles of cooking will we witness this year? What tantalizing dishes will be revealed? This year's tournament is sure to be our fiercest yet. I'm off to the market. Don't buy the blue squiggle again. It tasted spoiled last time. I'll ask the brigadiers about it. Where's Saskia? Trying to wake Mina up. She just keeps saying ten more minutes. Mina, get down here now. Saskia, let's go. We're already late. Mina, if you don't come down this instant. I'm up. Stop yelling. Is the restaurant on fire or something? You know it's busiest on Fridays. Finish that Karano Mabo Tofu order for table two. <sighs> All right. taste a bit off to me. A couple of things we got from the market were strange. Not sure what's going on. One bow run noodle soup. On it. training for the brigade again, didn't you? Uh, it was Saskia's idea. Huh, I suppose it was Saskia's idea the last ten times, too. You know, your father and I would love you to apply, but we need you here. We are not going to be around forever, and your sister isn't even married. <sighs> Ma, please. Ah, I just saw Simon outside. Go gather some fresh ingredients. He looks like he's in the mood for something off-menu. I can always tell by how much he's slouching. His standards aren't that high. A 50-point dish should do.
Mina. Got a new experiment for me to try? You bet. Only the finest from our backyard. Dig in. It's horrible. <laughs> what? That can't be. I tasted it myself. <laughs> nah, it's actually good. But I have to keep your ego in check. Don't scare me like that. Oh, Simon, it looks like we'll need some extra satchels of grain and flour. We're running through it a lot faster than expected. Mina, go over to Simon so he doesn't have to make a double trip. I really don't mind. You live so close by. Hush, I'll go. Give this money to his father when you get there. Thank you, Mrs. Han. Be back in a flash. Simon, wait. Before we get there, I need to tell you something. What's up? I'm not going to be around for a while. Ha! <laughs> Did you get grounded for brigade training again? This isn't a joke. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to run away from home. <laughs> Mina, I think you're way too old for that now. I'm not throwing a tantrum. Mom and Dad will never let me leave for the brigade. If I wait for their permission, I'll be stuck cooking the same recipes for the same people forever. That's not necessarily true. You could change up the menu. When I make it in, I'll get to travel the land and learn about everything in the world of food. That's more than I could ever do here. You're serious then? Dead serious. I've got what it takes and I'm not growing enough around here where everyone's happy just doing the same old stuff. Well? Oh, your mom is gonna flip. And the only person who scares me more than my dad is your mom. Couldn't you wait till the restaurant picks back up a bit? It hasn't been doing so great lately. Plenty of new travelers will be passing through on their way to the proving tournament. I'll be fine. You don't own a coin your parents haven't given you first. How are you gonna... Nina Han, you rogue. Now I'm gonna be an accomplice. I knew I could count on you. This money is just enough to apply and a bit extra. Think you could help a neighbor out and spot me some flour? I don't like this. But how can I refuse my favorite neighbor? Thank you, Simon. <sighs> we should get going. Our parents are going to be annoyed that we're taking so long. God of Barley, give me strength. Your mom is going to kill me. I'll name a dish after you in the tournament. Before I go, how about one more practice, hey Kiki? Sure. Why don't we practice with wind magic one last time? Alright. We should have some time before Ma gets back from Auntie's house. I can't believe our little Mimi is all grown up. <sighs> it's really happening. enough underwear what I think so remember I gave you some of dad's stationery I want you to write every week Kiki stop acting like mom hey I have to make sure I'm not allowing you out to die in a ditch somewhere well I'll have plenty of underwear and stationery with me in that ditch 
All right, we better get going. Thanks, Kiki. You have no idea what this opportunity means to me. Oh, I know. Don't screw up. And here, take this cookie jar with you. A little reminder of home. Kiki's cloak. I have to get this back, you know. <laughs> they say it's good luck for that to happen when you first come into town. Huh? That's gross. Who says that? It's a capital thing. I'm thrashed, by the way. You're looking to register for the tournament, aren't you? Oh, yes. I'm Mina. Nice to meet you. How'd you know I was here for the tourney? That's a knife bag at your side, and you've got a pan handle sticking out of the back of your satchel. Right. <laughs> Marking the other contestants is easy. You can sense a special aura about them burning with excitement. <laughs> Look at me getting all worked up. Anyway, this is the back of the line. Up there with the pink-haired woman is where we register. Wow, that's a lot of contestants. This isn't even the half of it. I hear there's somewhere around 50 hopefuls. That's so awesome. But this line, yeesh. Just walked 30 miles and I don't have the energy for this. Well, you can cut in front of me if you like. Really? You're so kind, thanks. Okay, this isn't gonna do. Time for some Mina magic. Huh? I'll see you around. Gotta go. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Just trying to get through. There we go. Next. Hey, she cut. Hi, I'm here for the... It'll be ten gold to register. Yes, I have that. Here you go. Take this form and fill it out. Hand it to the gentleman to my right. Next! Mina Han. Age 21. From the Windy Village. Title? Let's see. Well, Simon always calls me the Iron Stomach since I can eat anything. Done! Here is your registration number. Don't lose it. If you do, tough bricks. Tomorrow, your orientation is at 6 a.m., and the opening ceremony is at 4 p.m. 6 a.m.? I better go find a place to stay and rest up. Good afternoon. Room for one. How much per night? Two gold a night, and we have complimentary breakfast here. My wife cooks up a storm. If you're here for the tournament, you can stay for the entirety of the competition for 20. It's a steal. Perfect. Although, 
That leaves me with nothing left. And what if I get eliminated early? No. I'm not gonna get kicked out. I can do this. If you need to scrounge up some change, you could always do one of the jobs available in town. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. That'll do. Enjoy your stay and break a dish. What? Oh, it's probably another saying. Let me show you to your room. Wow, this is really nice. We do our best. We'll let you get settled in. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you, sir. Maybe I'll just take a small nap. It. I need to get downstairs. Interesting. Oh. Excuse me. Oops. Sorry about that. No, I wasn't looking where I was going. There's quite a few smells wafting around here, of the unbathed nature. I just got in yesterday myself. I'm registered for the tournament and everything. I'm me- Wait a second. Oh no. Oh no! I slept through orientation! Oh my. Well, if you need someone to get you up to speed, I'd be happy to help. I'm Kieran. And you are? Mina! That would be so great! We can use the practice kitchen so you're not going into things cold tomorrow. I'll act as your referee. But first, let's find you an opponent. Hi! Hey there, Blue! We should have just enough time before the opening ceremony, and you won't want to miss that! Good. I see you've found a partner. Let's head to the practice kitchen and get started. Let's do this! do I need to do to make it into the brigade? 
you must challenge other chefs in town to matches similar to this. Official matches are carried out in the Kitchen Coliseum, overseen by Chairman Common and the judges. Contestants must earn seven wins to enter the final round. Chefs with three losses are eliminated. Well, that won't happen to us, right, Mina? No way! We're going to make it to the final round! <clears throat> yes. As for the cooking itself, there are three things to avoid if you don't want to lose points during judging. First, always incorporate the match's theme ingredient in your dishes. Second, make sure to place your dishes in front of the judges within the time limit. Third, don't leave anything harmful to the judges in your ingredients, like poison. There's also a way to gain points. And that's by using ingredients that match the judges' taste preferences. All right. I think I got it. Let's do this. Very well. Provide me with a dish predominantly flavored with earth. And your theme ingredient for this round is... Karana. I never thought I'd get to say this, but in the words of Chairman Common, Vive la Brigade!
ました。Well done, you two. Let's see what we have here. Wonderful. Divine. It is with pride I announce our winner is Mina. Congratulations! All right. I was hoping this would calm me down, but now I'm more excited for the tournament to start than before. That was a great warm-up. Mina, you're a strong competitor. Really? Mm-hmm. You're so serious while cooking. It's admirable, but don't get too tense. I can see your mind racing in a million directions. Don't forget to breathe. It's funny how I forget to do that when I'm concentrating really hard. I've never battled against chefs from all around the country before. Just think of all the different cuisines and techniques assembled here for the tournament. It's a taste of the world. Speaking of which, I think I hear some music starting up. Let's go and enjoy the opening ceremonies. Good practice. Welcome, one and all. Victusia opens its arms to the world for the annual Battle Chef Brigade Tournament. We wait with bated breath to discover which incredible contestants will join the ranks of the brigade this year. Chefs, I implore you to search within yourselves and draw forth your deepest convictions and abilities. Tomorrow, the battles will commence. But for now, let us join together in celebrating the strength of our land and its people. Vive la Brigade! Han, are you not feeling well? No, ma'am. I'm feeling great. Your fellow contestants have all gotten at least one match under their belts. Curds! Fallen behind already? <laughs> you need to get moving, cadet. Yes! Wait, where do I even start? My dear. If you had just woken up in time, you would have caught the briefing. I'm so sorry, Instructor. There's no more time to lose. Get dressed and go warm up with Thorn at the Hunter's Guild. Y yes ma'am! How are you?
Marino, shoo, shoo! Stop eating my experiment! Is this a pet store? Settle down, miss, and have some tea. Bree, Fontina, get out of there! I'm Mina, by the way. John, Belchior, gastronomy wizard extraordinaire at your service. Wow, that's some title. What do you do here exactly? Well, my lady, I'm in the process of creating a super flavor enhancer. It'll accentuate the consumer's favorite flavors, so it'll be universally delicious. I'm calling it... Ambrosia! How are you going to make this happen? My experiment requires me to extract the essence of a hundred different dishes, but the progress is slow. I'm looking for assistance, but you'd be surprised how many people in town are allergic to cats. Well, it sounds interesting to me. Is it a paid job? Of course! I'm a professional! The Brigade funds all my research. So, how can I help? Most of my recipes are almost complete. I just need a hand finishing them up. Would you be so kind? You're a natural. Stop by any time you have a free moment. It looks like Pecorino has taken a liking to you, and I'm sure he'd appreciate you visiting. too suffocating for her. Uh, pardon? I mean, is 20 messenger doves one too many? Maybe it was the Manticore trophy I sent. I'm sorry, but are you the one in charge here? Um, oh, yeah. You're another tournament baby, aren't you? Give me a second to strap up my boots and we'll head to the arena and see what you're worth.
Okay, you have your gold. I always have more challenges on the bounty board, so come back later. Or don't. Not many do. Most people are all about the coin, not about the hunt. Um, well, thank you for the instruction today. I'll put it to good use. What's up? Apply for the line order cook possession. Can you handle all the orders? My family owns a restaurant back home, so I've got some experience. I've never worked anywhere else, though. We'll get you into the swing of things here. Beat the tournament happening. I'm swamped with customers from out of town. I'm also a bit short stiffed, since two of my sous chefs are off trying to earn their things for the brigade. I'll do my best. Here at the Crescent, we prioritize the customer's time and hunger. Not everyone has the time or coin for an exquisite meal cooked by a real battleship. That's where you come in, recruit. Your goal as a line order cook is to fill customers' orders as quickly as possible. For each order, all that matters is that the requested taste gem pattern is somewhere in the dish. Our pans here don't even get hot enough to upgrade taste gems. So don't make any big plans for grandiose dishes. Here, try this on for size. Delicious! Very much appreciated.
done, recruit. You've managed to exceed my expectations. <laughs> I do my best. Well, I hope you'll return. The Crescent could use a shave like you. Welcome, citizens and esteemed guests, to the inaugural day of this year's Proving Tournament. It is my great honor to preside over what will assuredly be a pulse-pounding centennial. The contestants before you have traveled from across Victusia to showcase their skills in the illustrious Kitchen Coliseum. Only an elite few will rise from the ranks and emerge as brigadiers. Let's hear it for their bravery! Mina Han loves dreaming up adventurous new dishes at her family restaurant. Hailed in her town as the Iron Stomach, she's sure to serve up intriguing creations. <sighs> My stomach's definitely not made of iron right now. Mina! This competitor is said to be a descendant of Grand Matriarch Kill, and is known for her unorthodox ingredients. Shiv Zaya, the Acid Tongue! <laughs> You're not even worth it. Shiv! It's my pleasure to present our longest-running judge, Ambassador Akebo. You're too kind, Chairman. It's an honor and a privilege to sit at the judge's platform for the centennial. Ah, there's nothing like a dish with plenty of fire to invigorate the senses. People of Victusia, I struggle with the choice for today's theme ingredient for weeks before it came to me during meditation. Simplicity. One of King Heinrich's favorite monsters to hunt and eat, charging across the plains and forests in dangerous herds. 
Bowrun! <laughs> Chefs, please place your dishes on the judges' platform within the time limit. Grace this kitchen with the best cooking you have to offer. Vive la Brigade! you learn to do that? This? My mom taught me. She was an amateur battle chef. <laughs> well, it's not like it's impressive. <laughs> of course not.
Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what our judge has to say about your efforts. Outstanding. The Iron Stomach's done it! Mina Han wins! I did it! This tournament is becoming a joke. The dishes you put up would never have passed the standards of our ancestors. Nevertheless, it's customary in my culture to give the victor a token. Here. We use it to protect toddlers from getting burned when they first start cooking. I am exhausted. This was only my first match. I'm gonna have to pace myself here. I haven't even realized till now that I'm hungry. I cooked all day and didn't eat anything for myself. <sighs> I'll eat a big breakfast tomorrow to make up for it. Look at her go! It's like a trash compactor! Huh? We're just admiring your appetite. You're like me. I could eat a whole food truck and still be a stick. What's a food truck? You're Mina Han, aren't you? I heard about the Iron Stomach at the opening ceremony. Oh, wow. No one in my village actually calls me that just my friend. I think the tournament committee tries to play everyone up. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> hey now, don't say that. Having a stomach made of iron is pretty incredible. Mine's made of paper. Plus, you're here, and only the best of the best are in Capital City. We'll see. Either way, I'm really excited for the opportunity. Atta girl. Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be, graves to dig up. See ya! Oh, here! Catch! Huh. A metal trinket of some sort. What a strange guy. Did he say he was going to dig up graves? Hey there, Blue!
There's so much to do. Swiss, stop biting my toes. Belchior, I was wondering something. I couldn't stop thinking about it over breakfast. What's that? This seems like an awful lot of work for just one batch of formula. Even if it's the ultimate. Will you have to make all these recipes and extract their essences every time? Ha! Ah, that's a good question, my astute assistant. If I'm successful, the Brigade will assist me in reproducing Ambrosia more efficiently. Then chefs from all around can have a bottle to spray my flavor magnifier on anything. Interesting. This won't be a shortcut to proper cooking, though, will it? Never. Like any seasoning, it can be used properly, but it can also be used poorly. But enough chatter. Let's get to work! again any time. I might need you for cat sitter duties at some point. These fur balls are getting unwieldy. How are you?
I'm closed for business today, so get lost. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold it. I'm just kidding. I should really pack up and go somewhere, though. Maybe the caverns, deep in the mountains, where I can be warm, yet never have to see the outside world again. Jeez, what's with all the doom and gloom? And I thought I was hard on myself. What would a youngster like you know? happen to be versed in remedy foods, would you? Uh-uh. I'm sorry, Instructor. That sounds like something Kieran would know. She's usually around Belkir's workshop. A cat geezer, hmm? I'm looking for headache relief, not a headache giver. Greetings. Recruit. Most of my guests don't have a lot of time to chat, but the few that do tell grand stories. In addition to your wages, I'm happy to share my favorite of the day with you, if you do a good job. Yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. Just remember that if you take too long to serve customers, they'll leave. Let's not keep them waiting. Very much appreciated. I can't wait. Perfect.
Thank you so much. Perfectly delicious. All right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Enough for a tale? Mm hmm. A woman came in today spreading strange rumors of a Karana with an evil aura. Claimed it snook into her house and tried to eat her dog. Yikes! I've never heard of a Karana doing that before. Welcome to the practice kitchen, cadet. Have you been here before? Yes. I fit in a quick practice match with Kieran and Thrash before the opening ceremony. A wise decision. Well then, you know that you're free to use this kitchen as long as you like. Practicing isn't a requirement, but if you're ever unsure of a new tool you've acquired or new tastes you've discovered, consider coming here before challenging someone. Makes sense to me. Good. I'm off to check in on the others. Best of luck, cadet. Prepare yourself. I woke this morning reminded of a quote from the legendary chef Robichon. An ingredient is only as extraordinary as the chef who wields it. When I look at our contestants, I see the precision of their blades and the richness of 10,000 flavors boiling in their hearts. Extraordinary doesn't even begin to cut it. I cannot wait to see the wonders they have in store for our judge today. Riding on the winds of her first victory, the Iron Stomach is ready to claim another win. Mina!
Our next contestant is a man who's as altruistic as he is intelligent. Leonid, the gift bringer! Artifice aside, I'm excited to test your skill. Leonid! That judge is headmistress of the prestigious Aurus Academia. Please welcome Instructor Meridane! You've no need to flatter me so. We'll soon discover just how competent these chefs truly are. Water is mercurial by nature. A chef that truly masters its flavor becomes as adaptive as the energy itself. It is in your best interest to impress me with it. For today's theme ingredient, we look to a beast that has a heart of fire. Every hunter knows the fearsome... DRAGON! Vive la Brigade! On the contrary, I'd like to learn it when you have the time. It'd be my pleasure.
Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what our judge has to say about your efforts. A delicacy. Delightful. The Iron Stomach clenches another hard-fought victory. Mina Ha wins! All right! I'm honored we had this match, Miss Han. You will make a great battle chef someday. Please, take this as a sign of my faith in you. I can't handle all this formality. <laughs> Thanks for being so nice, Leonid. I'm sure you're going to get in the brigade, too. Care to chat? I should really study more recipes right now, but I'll just take a quick nap first. What you reading? Oh, I'm just perusing the new expertise tome I bought from Louie and Louie. Expertise? Yes, it's the study of a particular esoteric cooking style or technique. You should really take a look into some. Judges award bonuses for demonstrating the use of expertises. Here, you can have one of mine. I've got the contents of that tome committed to memory. If you don't mind, though, I have to get back to studying. Huh? Curious. How may I be of service? Got a slew of real noggin twisters here. I'm so glad you showed up. What's the issue? Oh, getting the essences out of dishes is getting more complicated the further down my list I go. Well, let's try our best.
thinking like that and you'll be a master gastronomist in no time. Watch yourself, girl. Otsu is missing and he's very crafty. Not to mention Dudley. Who's Otsu? Well, now we may begin. Your form needs work. Mina Han, reporting for duty. Right on time. I've got an hotel ready for you once you've finished your shift. Get to it. Yes, chef. Appreciate them. This looks so good. Oh, 
Thanks. Perfect. Oh, that looks good. Then what happened? He pointed to the scar on his arm and revealed that it wasn't the mark of a monster, but an enraged opponent. Whoa, just because they lost the match? Mm-hmm. There's no honor in such an act. Whoops. It's later than I realized. I've got to get going. I'll see you tomorrow, Pantita. Let us begin. It's another glorious day in the Kitchen Coliseum, and our contestants are becoming more skillful with each dish they prepare. Much like the fire in our chef's hearts, the spirit of this tournament burns ever brighter. This small town chef has become something of a crowd favorite. Please welcome the Iron Stomach, Mina. Kieran has studied medicinal gastronomy since childhood. Her unwavering attention to detail earned her the title, The Decisive Blade, from her instructors. An interesting matchup indeed. Kirin! Today we welcome back Ambassador Akebo to the judges' platform. Ah, what a fine day for a match. I'm anxious to taste today's dishes. At the annual fire festival, local food stands make spicy kebabs that are out of this world. I'd like to see the contestants bring that kind of fiery flavor to today's challenge. Ha -ha! The next judge is the famed Grand Matriarch, Azjil. With each challenge that passes, these chefs reveal more of themselves through their creations. I look forward to learning more today. Some chefs mistake Earth for the most simplistic energy, but its purity belies subtle complexities. Bring me a dish that harnesses its potential. In my youth, I refused to eat this beast's meat out of fear its curse would pass to me. Like our ancestors, I feared what I didn't understand. Luckily, our chefs today are fearless in the face of the unknown. Let's see what they can do with... Bursket! Vive 
Labrigade. Remembering to breathe, Mina? Oops. Right. Thanks, Kieran. Thank you. 
Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Delicious! Inspiration. My congratulations. Another stunning victory for the Iron Stomach. Minaha wins! Yeah! You certainly are more resourceful than you appear. I underestimated you. Gee, thanks. I meant only to say that you show a lot of promise for your age. Here, take this. May it aid you in your battles ahead. Everyone's cuisines are so different here. I'm going to have to give it everything I've got to make mine stand out. I bet Kiki and Simon would know what to do. They'd have a joke ready and everything. Instructor, good morning! Uh, am I in trouble? Is that what you think just from me showing up? I'm checking in with all the contestants. I'm sorry. Well, I have three wins on my belt now. Just four more to go. I've heard. Once you've completed that, you're cleared for the Proving Tournament's ultimate feat, Robichon's Trial. The three-round gauntlet against the Brigade's most talented chefs? I've been dreaming of it all my life! Are you prepared to face the final three? Thinking about it just gives me chills. I believe in you. Just keep working hard, Pumpkin. I've got others to see, but good luck today. Thank you, ma'am. Hey! Stop fighting with your sister this instant. The kittens seem extra rowdy today. Is something going on? Oh, Kieran just gave them a new toy. She means well, but now I have to deal with the mayhem. You might be on your own today. I've got to separate these wrestlers. You can count on me, sir.
Another successful day. Thank you for your help, Mina. Always a pleasure. All those monsters by yourself? This lot, these are just the leftovers. I've sent the rest as a gift. Uh... Instructor, maybe you should go next door and visit Belchior. Spending time with his cats could be good for you. You want me to end up like that old fox smothered in cats? Maybe you'd prefer being surrounded by living things instead of... How dare you insult my collection! You have no idea how hard I fought to earn these trophies. I'm deeply sorry. I didn't mean to... Leave! 
When you return next, you had better come with more respect. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. You'd give it all away to find the love who will stand by your side. You have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you, recruit. Don't think I'll let you slack off because I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Pontita's been so happy today. And that's the most I've ever gotten out of Caesar. Pontita! Yes? Should I give it to her? I think they might actually be good for each other. I, uh, I just wanted to say thanks for this opportunity. You're welcome, Nina. Now get out of here, recruit. You've worked hard enough for today. It's not my secret to tell. Welcome once again to the most invigorating exhibition of culinary excellence in all of Victusia. Yesterday we mourned with contestants who suffered their second loss, and cheered those who dazzled our judges' persnickety palates. Like the pounding tides of the Silian Sea, the Iron Stomach seems unstoppable. Mina! Our next contestant declined to provide a title, saying, I don't need a fancy title to make great food. I present Caesar! <clears throat> Caesar! 
Today, these chefs seek to please two of the sharpest minds of our age. The first I'm proud to present is Instructor Meridane. At ease, Chairman. You are no longer a student of mine, after all. My attention is focused solely on the techniques of these chefs. Be careful not to oversaturate today's dish with bold flavors. Doing so will bury the intoxicating crispness of water. The next judge is the famed Grand Matriarch, Azjil. With each challenge that passes, these chefs reveal more of themselves through their creations. I look forward to learning more today. Foraging for ingredients is a vital skill. So today, I ask you to scour the Skylands for a bit of earth to ground your dish. This Skylands delicacy used to be so rare that it was exclusively eaten by royalty. Even now, collection requires a chef with sharp eyes and the speed of a tempest. Wind fruit! Vive la brig...
did I put that blasted spatula? Do you need help looking for it? I'm happy to come over and... Stay where you are. Or I could just stay here. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Lovely. Exceptional. It seems no iron skillet can stand up to the might of the iron stomach. Mina Han wins! I did it!
Match well thought, sir. Ah, uh, can it? Huh? We had a deal. <sighs> I'm starving. Wanna go grab a bite at Crescent? This, uh, wasn't part of the deal. You're hungry, too. I heard your stomach rumbling earlier. Fine. <laughs> and here. It was my daughter's from when she was little. But I have no use for it. It would suit you better. Thank you. So, you have a daughter? What's she like? Quiet. Is that a description or a command? Yes. I should probably get some dinner, but I just want to sleep. Huh? What's going on over there? Admit it. Your family donates to Judge Meridane's Academy. She gave you a free pass on that win. If you actually knew anything about me or my family, you'd know that couldn't be farther from the truth. Just how many of your royal family members are in the brigade? It's obvious nepotism. If you have an issue, bring it up with the tournament committee. I'm sure they'll find your accusations to be baseless. Ha! <laughs> Run away like the cheat you are! This was your third loss. You're out of the competition. Learn to take that in stride. You can always try again another year. Why, you... <laughs> Mina! Ah! You cut my hand! Uh, I'm sorry! But you're about to hurt my friend! We need to get an officer. Can anyone help us? Oh, goodness. I told you something terrible was brewing in town. What happened here? She just threw her dagger at me! I was aiming for your skewer! It was an accident. You raised your weapon and... It looks to be only a scratch. Let's get that wrapped up. The three of you, come with me. We've got a medical kit at the inn. What are you all standing around for? Move along! Now! I see. Shiv, you come from an honorable lineage as well. There's no need to throw dirt on Kieran's family. Your great-grandmother is the fabled Kiln, isn't she? Uniting the orc tribes by way of her cross-culture cuisine. She'd be ashamed of your attitude throughout this competition. Of course. Taking Kieran's side. It seems to me that the only one who expected an easy win based on their background is you. The fact remains, contestants are not allowed to draw weapons on one another in town. It's a designated safe zone. In accordance with Article 7 of the Proving Tournament Rules, you are hereby expelled from the competition for two years. What?! This is bull! As for you, Mina, even though you tried to protect Kira, you also broke the rules. You've injured Shiv's hand, and just think if your dagger had missed and hit a townsperson. I'm sorry, Instructor. You should have gotten an officer to handle the situation. You too must be expelled for endangering the people around you. Is this the only way? Although I understand the seriousness of the situation, I don't think Shiv or Mina truly meant any serious harm. Tensions were high. Threats were made. Kieran, say your farewells to them. They're expected to leave tomorrow morning. Mina, I'm so sorry. Listen, everything is going to work out. Don't give up. Mina?
Can't you give her another day to take it easy? She's heartbroken. Mina needs to keep working. She has the same spirit I had at her age, including my weakness. I'm standing right here, you two. Sorry, Mimi. I tried. Why don't you go on restocking duty? I can peel the potatoes. I'd rather peel the potatoes. I think some exercise would be good for you. Get some fresh air. All right, fine. Be quick about it. The restaurant is opening in just a moment. And I don't want you to use any wind magic or daggers. It's ruining the backyard. <laughs> Go wild. The only thing ruining the backyard is all the monsters piling up since we haven't had your combat skills to help us. Saskia. What? It's true. Let loose, Mimi. Give her another d Mina ne I'm st sorry. I'd rather I think so. All right. Be quick about it. And I don't want you to use <laughs> Go why? Saskia. What? Let loose me. One mapo tofu. That's all you, Mina. I got her on the tables. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate. on his way with another delivery. He's late. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Han. Our farm got attacked by a bow run, and the barn almost toppled over. Pops took care of it, though. I'm glad you're both all right. Thanks. I thought I was gonna be a kebab. Hey, Mina. Got anything new for me to try today? Oh, hey. No, just the usual. Mina, why don't you help Simon move the satchels into the cellar? Let's go. 
Now that we're done hauling all that grain, how about a word, huh? A sound? I don't even think I've heard you sneeze since you've been back. What's there to talk about? What, what is there to talk about? Like, a million different things. Like, how come no one has bothered to mention that the guy Sasuke has started dating needs to chew with his mouth closed? Don't be mean. Sasuke is happy. Alex is a nice guy. <laughs> but he could eat a little bit neater. Ah, oh, there you go. Look at you using words and talking. You are alive. Barely. I'm grounded for life. I'm going to be in that kitchen cooking the same things until I die. I can forget about seeing beyond this village ever again. Forget about the brigade. Well, mm, now never mind. What is it? You could always run away again. Next year. Oh, please. Like my mom would ever let me slip by again. I think this is it for me. Staying here isn't so bad, is it? You can still test your experiments on me. I don't mind. I'm the Iron Stomach, remember? Not you. I know you're upset, but there's still so much here for you. The restaurant, your family, the old man shouting at the windmills every morning. You don't get it at all. Just because you're satisfied with being stuck here doesn't mean that I am. I gotta get back to the house. Simon was just trying to help. I shouldn't have blown up on him. It's a good village. It's a good restaurant. I've got my family and Simon. Maybe... Maybe I don't deserve to be here. I'm so sorry, everyone. We should be thriving from the flow of travelers to and from the capital, but we're getting some unpleasant feedback lately. I told you, didn't I? The produce from the market has been tasting strange for a while now. You need to confront the brigadiers head on. We're paying good coin for their catches. Ma, uh, it's even more serious than that. People are getting sick. From our food? It's hard to pinpoint, but we may be contributing to the problem, along with some other restaurants. Who's gotten sick? Actually, I just saw Alex. He's running a fever and I heard Simon isn't feeling well either. All the restaurants get their goods from the same brigadiers. There has to be something going on that we don't know about. What's going on? Are we not opening today? No, I'm afraid not. Nina, I think we need you to do some hunting for us, though. The produce we purchase just isn't holding up once it's cooked. We'll need more from the backyard to make up for it. Sure thing. I'll get right to it. Oh! Charles spun a tale about how he fended off a raging bow run from destroying his farm. 
At first, I thought he was boastful, but now I'm not so sure. Simon's dad does love to exaggerate. True, but Simon mentioned the attack yesterday. I don't think this is one of Charles's tall tales. So what's this have to do with the market's goods? I can't say for sure. But these monsters concern me. Their behavior's tumultuous at the best of times, and now they're more ferocious than ever. I wouldn't be surprised to learn they've been evolving. Yeah, the timing is definitely suspicious. Plus, we haven't noticed anything weird with the grain Simon's brought over. So, only the monster meat has changed. That's what we're thinking. Mina, you've got the sharpest senses out of all of us. Take a closer look at these ingredients for us, will you? Okay. I hate to admit it, but I've been neglecting my responsibilities these past few days. You don't need to tell us that. No offense, sleepyhead. It's okay, Mina. Get the stove going, and let's do some tests. strands running through this marbling. The monster parts are breaking down more and more with every stir. Hmm, it doesn't taste too different at first, but when overmixed, it begins to sour. these purple spots you see them they're popping as we cook gross we didn't actually serve this to customers did we no way we did this must be from spoiling within the past day Ugh. there's definitely a foulness to the taste now i've never in my life seen this before well you certainly seem calm didn't you inspect the produce before buying Aww, pointing fingers isn't going to help anything. Ma, Pa, I think we should look at what Mina brought in from the garden earlier. Hmm. They're just as bad even though they're from our backyard. Then it might not be the Brigadier's fault. That just leaves a problem with the monsters themselves. How could this happen? I'm not sure, but we'll have to be extra careful from now on. When you took the right precautions, it seemed like the poison dissipated. It'll take more time to prep ingredients, but it's time I'm willing to take to ensure our food is safe. Are we going to be able to open up again? Let's keep testing our recipes tomorrow, and then we'll see. Good work, Mina. I'm going to talk to the rest of the village leaders about our discovery. Yeah, good work, Mimi. If there's nothing else to do here, I need to get back to Alex and make sure he's alright. Okay. Mina, you and I should keep going for a little while longer. I have a few more ideas. All right, Ma. Let's keep cooking. 
letter from Thrash. I wonder if he's made it in yet. <gasps> Artie is sick. Kieran's making an antidote. And there's some place called the Dark Realm? And I'm at home worrying about spoiled meat and sick customers. It's kind of weird that everyone's getting sick at the same time. I wonder if this monster problem reaches farther than Windy Village. I should look at as many cuts of monster as I can tomorrow. Maybe there's some way I can help. Dear Thrash. I'm going to gather some ingredients, Ma. Thank you, dear. Told you she just needed to keep working. I know my daughters. Sure, Ma. Sure. Open. Let's get to it. Guess I'll have to test these after the lunch rush. to tell you to finish up that piranha pancake dish for me would you dad said the other restaurants are doing better with their ingredients since we did our demonstration for them two century egg appetizers mina but the pickings are slim we need to avoid the purple splotched meats for now people are still getting sick from it so looks like we'll be limited on our ingredients till we figure things out i don't have a lot of time of you, Mina. Our menu will still have to cut down on quite a few recipes until this is sorted out, but we couldn't have reopened without you. Thanks, Ma. I'm going to keep doing more experiments tonight. Maybe I'll find out even more? We'll all stick around and help. Alex is still feeling kinda sick and doesn't want to eat very much. He's sticking to vegetables for now. Maybe you two can teach me something to serve him. Have you made him my signature dumpling soup yet? This is only for when we're serious, you know that. I don't know if it's because he's sick, but I'm not sure if he wants to start going steady. Well, hurry it up. Your father and I aren't getting any younger. Ma! 
Oh, this one's from Kieran. Mina, I've only slept four and a half hours in the last five days, so forgive me for being terse. After my work on Thrash's antidote, Belchior asked me to work with him on a new brigade assignment. They've tasked us with identifying and containing a possible monster mutation. The samples I've taken are concerning. I don't wish to engage in speculation before my tests are complete, but I think there's more going on here than they suspect. So the monsters are acting weird everywhere. A mutation, though? Isn't that just a blight? If that's true, Kieran and Thrash will need all the help they can get. I've got to tell her everything I know. Kieran, I hope this letter doesn't come too late, but I've been seeing issues with the monsters here, too. Hey, what's going on? You're looking much better, Simon. Ugh, still just on broth right now. What's the deal with the letter? It's from the Brigade. Based on the findings of our top researchers, we regret to inform the populace that Victusia is facing a potentially catastrophic monster mutation event. Due to the severity of the outbreak, we're putting all able-bodied battle chefs on full alert. We've isolated the problematic traits and determined that all monsters are not yet affected, but our investigation is ongoing. Our primary focus must switch to containing this outbreak. To that end, the Proving Tournament will be put on hold until the situation is under control. This must be the outbreak Kieran mentioned. Maybe it really is a blight? Jeez, this sounds serious. Listen! The contestants have all been offered the opportunity to temporarily work with the Brigade in containing the situation. We'd like to request the aid of Nina Han. Back at the capital! Oh my goodness. Given the circumstances, we are willing to revoke the Proving Tournament expulsion once the festivities resume. With your help, we hope this incident will be resolved as quickly as possible. The choice is fully yours, and we hope to hear from you soon. Stay safe and break a dish, the Tournament Committee. I have to go back. Absolutely not. You lost that privilege the moment you ran off with our money. This is no longer about fun and games. The capital sounds way too dangerous right now, not to mention the roads. That's exactly why I should be there. I have a chance to do something good for once in my life. Oh, Mimi. Before I was careless. I was bored. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't earn my place in the tournament. I stole it from the people who taught me the skills I was so desperate to prove. I don't serve anything. Mina, you need to calm down. You two made this place with your bare hands. You gave Saskia and I opportunities we couldn't get anywhere else. Opportunities I took for granted. But now there's a way I can help you. A way I can make it up to you. By fixing the monster problem at its source. If I can find out what's going on, I can bring that knowledge back and make sure no one gets sick again. And we can keep serving customers like before. Well? I promise I'll write home this time. I'm going to be okay. I'll be in the hands of the veteran battle chefs. I'm sorry, but you're still grounded. Stealing our flower money? That's a serious crime. But... I... My baby girl, how are you ever going to survive out there if you don't understand sarcasm? What? Huh? I can't keep you here any more than I can keep the wind from blowing through the trees. Kiki, what's happening right now? Your mother is letting you go. We all are. Only the Brigade can stop what's happening. The best way to help the restaurant is to join them. <gasps> oh, thank you, Ma! Pa! Kiki! Thank you! Woohoo! <sighs> I mean, carry on, Han family. Don't mind me. I'm going to help stop this monster mess. Then I'm coming right back to the restaurant. No, you're not. 
This is our family's iron pan, passed down for generations. My mother gave it to me when I left home to create this restaurant with your father. It's time for you to have it. You are who you are, Mina, and that person needs to help others. I didn't want to let you go before, but I won't make the same mistake twice. I couldn't be prouder of the woman you've become. And I couldn't be happier to be part of this family. I'm so sorry for the way I acted before. Everyone stumbles, Mina. It's how you get up that matters. It's time to stop feeling sorry for yourself and keep your chin up, okay? But don't think we're not going to tease you for all the moping. I just had a lot on my mind. I don't know. You definitely were Mopey Mina. No, Mopey Poo. I was not. Fine, maybe a little. Drink your water, Simon. You're still dehydrated. imagine the capital from what travelers say. You have to be here and experience it. I'll definitely be experiencing all the cuisine. Too bad about the meat, though. <laughs> Maybe your dad will finally stop telling you to put on weight. Oh, that'll be the day. I'm still surprised we convinced him to let me come with you. I'd say your client expansion argument was pretty clever, especially since you made it up on the spot. It's silly, but your speech to your family? made me feel like it was time to try something new. Look at you getting all mushy. Yeah, well, you can pay me back with a restaurant tour. Deal. But first, we should check out the inn. And then I need to find Thrash and Kieran. Oh, you brought a friend. How nice. I have your rooms all ready. Let me take your bags up. Okay, there's something I haven't told you. You chew on your pillow at night. Everyone knows that, Mina. What? No, that's not even true. Did Kiki tell you that? Never mind. Anyway, you can't tell anyone this. Thrash, Kieran, and I have been looking into the monster epidemic. Now that I'm back, we're going to try to find the cause. Do you want to help? Nah. You're not even going to think about it? Mina, you have always had these grand ambitions. Me, though? I just want to grow the family business and go back to a peaceful life of talking to wheat stalls. I guess I knew that, but I wish we could tag team this. I know. Just make sure you're back before dinner. I want to try that crescent place. <sighs> this guy thinks we're on vacation. Wonderful to see you. Kieran! Thrash! I missed you guys so much. We missed you too. Now, down to business. We don't have time to go into detail, but Thrash and I have been through a lot since you've been gone. Too much for my taste. The bandits, the antidote, the dark realm. It sounds terrifying. Trust me, it's as bad as it sounds. The positive side is that we've garnered new insights on this mutation. Causation is still unclear, but the monsters and Ardia's sickness seem to be correlated. I think we could be on the verge of a full-scale blight. How did you figure it out? That was all you, BJ. We got your letters, and Kieran ran some tests. Sure enough, the blood she took from Ardia had similar properties to the mutated monsters. Precisely which could mean that a modified version of her antidote might cure the monsters themselves. Kieran, you're a genius! That remains to be seen. The cure is purely speculative at this stage. So, what's our next move? 
I think we should report to our stations and see what the brigade needs from us. We don't have anything concrete to show them yet, but we can get more samples for Kirin to test. Agreed. It's our wisest course of action. What do you think, Mina? I'm with you all the way. All right, we should get going then. Let's meet up again when we have more info. How may I be of service? Chefs, welcome. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Your loyalty to the Brigade and to Victusia has been noted. Despite the public's concern, I have every confidence this outbreak can be managed and will be able to resume the Proving Tournament soon. Not once in a hundred years has the tournament been cancelled, and I won't be the first chairman to let that happen. Here to explain your mission and provide more information on the outbreak is Instructor Razzle. Instructor, if you would. Good afternoon, chefs. We've learned that a rapidly spreading virus is mutating monsters across Victusia. There's been a stark increase in aggression, population, and dangerous ingredients. However, thanks to volunteers such as yourselves, these monsters have not been able to cause severe damage in our cities and towns. But the same can't be said for the ingredients that make their way into people's homes. From what we know, the ingredients are safe as long as we take the proper precautions in preparing them. But that hypothesis requires more testing. We're fully staffed here in the Coliseum, so our unproven squads will be using the practice kitchen area. That's all for now. Kraus will lead you to your stations where you'll receive further instruction. Oh! Looks like even Shiv got a call back. You have to be kidding me. Oh, hey, Shiv. I... Save it. Don't think you're important enough to hold a grudge about. I'm here to get back in and take everyone down. Every... Last. One. You mean in terms of the tournament, right? These new poisonous and moldy ingredients are perfection! <laughs> You're not serious, Art. Alright, Sea Squad babies, listen up! The sorry lot of you make up every person that was kicked out of the tournament for one reason or another. The committee's decided to let you back in. But you'll have to earn it. Mm, I'm ready! This time nothing's going to stop me! Don't worry, committee! I won't let you down! I just couldn't contain myself. <clears throat> we'll run this mission just like a tournament march. 
I'll pair you one-on-one -on -one for cook-offs. Every dish must contain at least one ingredient from a mutated monster. That's our theme for the day. You'll each have to make three dishes. One for me, one for Belchior, and one for Kraus. Actually, there was a change to the briefing. I'm, I'm still getting over a little bug. All right, make that two dishes. see an emphasis on fire energy for these tests. It would really help my research. And make that a water dish for me. Preferably one that'll fix this headache. Go.
Let's see what we have here. Yes, I'm curious to dissect these dishes. Truly wonderful. Oh, the flavors dance on my tongue. Start running. Yes, good. Looks like the winner is Mina Flan. Mm, I hate to contradict, but I believe it's Han. Hmm. Her name is smudged on the roster. Han, then. Woohoo! That's some fine work, Sea Squad. I did some chemical readings on your dishes, and I didn't see anything to be alarmed by. We might see some effects on the body in years to come, but... Hey! As a country, we've been eating monster for a century now. It's the way of the brigade. All right, head back to town. For the half of you that lost, don't fret. We'll be back at it tomorrow. You may have won this cute little game of theirs, but I'm saving my best for when the real cooking starts. I wouldn't expect any less. So it's true. They did make a sea squad, and it's filled with the bottom of the barrel. Who's this not white? I have no idea. I'll never forget. When you cut me in line during registration! Remember now? I told you I'd be watching. I knew karma would bite you back, and then you got kicked out fighting that sore loser over there. The brigade may show you mercy, but I'm not going to be so lax. I've got to get back to B-Squad. I have an important mission to carry out, but I just had to see what the stink was all about. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go. Later, Girl Scout. What? I guess I've made some enemies, too. <sighs> it's too quiet out here at night. I never thought I'd see Brigade Town so empty. Sorry for the fret. I just like to make an entrance. You don't look very sorry. I thought you were a monster. What are you doing out here? You're not a part of C-Squad. Just checking on something that couldn't wait till morning. What's your excuse? <laughs> I actually volunteered for this shift. I want to do everything I can to find the cause of this monster mutation. Is that so? Let's have a practice duel soon. Two night owls like us. I think we can learn a lot from each other. Okay, yeah. figure out this monster problem. Thresh said he had a morning duel today, but I bet Kieran's at Belchior's. I need to get over there and see how I can help. My stomach! Wait up! Ah! Still jumpy, eh? 
I wouldn't be if you'd stop sneaking up on me. Fair enough. So about that match today, let me know when you're ready. <laughs> I'd totally forgotten with everything else going on. Trust me, you're going to want to remember this one. Catch you later. How may I be of service? Why, my faithful assistant. I was hoping you'd answer the brigade's call. Really? But you had Kieran all this time. What's the old adage? Too many cooks might spoil the broth, but many chefs make light work? The same is true for alchemy.
before I left, we made so much progress. Did you figure out how to make ambrosia? No. With mounting suspicion about the monster threat, the brigade requested I find a cure. But now that we've discovered it can be safely prepared, surely that takes some pressure off. Quite right. I'm certain we'll discover both solutions very soon. We've got all the kitchenware you need. And then some. So you've returned. Whoa, yeah! I didn't think you'd notice. Not you. I was talking to that very persistent fly who likes to land on my babies. Babies? <sighs> my trophies. How sweet? You know, I think I do remember you. You're the girl with the walking kettle, right? Um, no. I mean a Han. Walking kettle? Oh, may I be you? Any news? Huh? Hey, Mina. Curious. How's it going?
<laughs> Your funeral. Before we start, I have a confession. I started the monster plague. Y you? Psych! Just kidding. But I do know what's causing it. What? Really? Well, mostly. That's where you come in. If you're serious, I'm happy to help however I can. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Ready, Jelly? He's going to judge? How does he eat? Probably with his mouth. <laughs> Jelly says he'd die for some fire and earth, so let's serve it up. As for our theme ingredient, let's do... King Bee.
Thought. This isn't a real blight, it's man made. What? Who would do something that horrible? <laughs> Who indeed? On purpose, it would be too much for most people to stomach. But covering up an accident? That's a little easier on the conscience. But there's only one way to find out breaking into the brigade's research lab. What? Do you want to be imprisoned? How can you think it's their fault with how hard they're trying to fight it? I started with some scraps of information from this body I'm possessing. But once I showed up here, solving this problem turned out to be a lot more complicated than I hoped. Ziggy... If you're just going to keep making jokes, I've got to get back to town. People's lives are at stake. I'm not joking. This is the real me. I'm not proud of the things I did to get here, but I want to stop this outbreak. I don't need help breaking into the lab, but I can't bring the information I find to the brigade. They don't trust me, but you, I know how determined you are to get to the bottom of this. You're not just in it for the tournament reinstatement. Help me end this. I don't know what to make of your stories, but I do want to put an end to the outbreak. To be honest, I've been meeting with Kieran and Thrash about it already. She's working on a cure. A cure? Well, that would be interesting. So what do you say? After you get the information, come find us. I'm against the break-in, but this is too serious to ignore. All right, Hamburger. And don't worry, I'll be silent as a snake. I can't tell if I'm more unsettled by Ziggy's transformation or the thought that someone in the brigade is at fault. Chefs, I require your undivided attention. I wish to keep this brief so that we may release our findings to the public. Due to your exemplary work, our scientists have determined mutated ingredients are not harmful when properly prepared. I'd like to extend special recognition to the members of C Squad. There were some in the committee who doubted our decision to reinstate you. You've gone above and beyond to prove you deserve your place among the other contestants. To that end, we've changed the rules for this year's Proving Tournament. Chefs won't be expelled until their fifth loss, but your previous record carries over. With that, our tournament begins anew. Vive la Brigade! Trusting Ziggy was the right decision. Surely he wouldn't break into a brigade lab without good reason. Come again? <laughs> you know, for a guard, you're not very alert. Ha ha. What are you doing out this late? Oh no, you first. What's this about breaking into a lab? If I tell the truth, will Thrash try to stop him? Will he tell Razzle? Come on, Blue. You know you can trust me. It's Ziggy. He thinks the mutation was started by one of the Brigade's alchemists. He's breaking in to find out for sure. I told him to come find us once he has the evidence. Kieran's not gonna like this. And you? Ziggy's a weird guy. I don't know if I trust him. I know what you mean, but when he talked about the outbreak, I believe him when he says he wants to fix it. Then, that's all I need to hear. 
I've got to get back to my post. Good night, Blue Jay. Night, Thrash. Is Mina Han still staying here? Huh? That sounds like Instructor Razzle. But she's not supposed to visit until my final match. Oh no. Did she catch Ziggy? Cadet, I have a few questions to ask you about an incident that occurred last night. An incident? Of course. How can I help? A citizen reported seeing a shadowy figure sneaking into the research lab last night. Did you see anything suspicious at your post last night? Play it cool, Mina. No, Thrash came to see me for a few minutes, but we weren't near the lab. I see. I've already spoken with him as well. That just leaves one other item. Oh no. What if she asks about Ziggy? Congratulations on your reinstatement. Whew. Thank you, Instructor. I'm really happy to be back. And we are glad to have you, Cadet. Your expulsion was an unfortunate circumstance. I was pleased to see your name on the returning roster. That means so much to me. I don't know what to say. Except that I wish I could tell you everything. Just keep your focus on the tournament. Any distractions at this point could cost you everything. There won't be another opportunity to re-enlist this year. I know. And I promise to do my best. I don't doubt it. Very well. I must continue the investigation. Good day to you, Mina. I was so close. Ziggy, this better not be some kind of joke. Greetings. We've got all the kitchenware you need. And then some. What's it say about the bone marrow? It could be a good addition, but I'm thinking we might want to check out horn shavings. Really good. What are you two up to today? Oh, just trying to save the world with cooking and science. You know the deal. I finished my match for today, so I thought I'd help out here. We're working on an antiviral medicine for the mutated monsters. Can I help in any way? Absolutely! I am drowning in work! I still need to move forward with my Ambrosia formula. The Brigade is checking in on its progress in a few days. Got it. I can help put more dishes together.
How did those horn shavings do? Quite unpleasant. Hmm. This is powdered horn. I think the texture caused a reaction. Anchovies! Right again, Kirin. Mina, we'll both be learning from this young lady in no time at all. <laughs> That's Kirin for you. I've never seen anyone work harder. I embalm them with a technique I learned from my father. It's exquisite. They don't look a day decayed. Perfectly frozen in time. Hey there, Mina Flan. You wouldn't notice at first glance, but this place is a top-notch museum of monster history. This girl isn't interested in stories. She's here for another hunting job, aren't you? Uh, uh, well, I am, but I'd love to hear about your hunts, too. No, about this lapizard scale here. Not a chip or scratch on it, see? Mm-hmm. trophies no they're too far out of my reach their energy is gone far away from this realm such is the fate of monsters huh I wonder what they'd say Maybe you should try an eating contest. That's Simon. <laughs> Ready to get back to work? I'm all in. Glad to hear it. I need all the help I can get. Hiya. Good to see you. Whoop. Someone just spilled their water. Gotta go. Perfect timing. The rush is in. Let's get to it. Hungry. 
Whew. That was way more intense than a duel. No kidding. My feet are killing me. <laughs> All in a day's work, recruits. You'll need more stamina than that to make it in the brigade. For now, you've done a great job. Catch your breath, then make way for my paying customers. Yes, ma'am. I'm back, baby. Graciously accept. Victusians, it is with greatest shame that I apologize for the tournament's interruption. For the love of the brigade, and the glory of Victusia, I vow never to let a blight disrupt our ceremonies again. It's with utmost pride that I announce the return of many fantastic contestants. Their tireless work was instrumental in uncovering the correct way to prepare blighted meat. They are worthy of your greatest adoration. Today, a phoenix rises from its ashes. The Iron Stomach is back and ready for battle! Mina! Quetzal is joined by a sentient marvel of culinary magic named Tebot. She's our first contestant in the history of the tournament to use a team name. The Teetotalers! Ready, Tebot? Quetzal! An acolyte of the source from which all elemental energy sprang, Sun Cultist Sargon! Thank you, Chairman Khan. In my travels, I've sampled many cuisines. Do not think you can pass off poor cooking because I'm foreign. 
Sun cultist cooking is full of fiery flavors. I'd like a departure from the norm that features earth and water as the primary ingredients. This explosive match will be mediated by the wisdom of Grand Matriarch Hasjil. Now that these hopefuls have restored balance in the face of a blight, I've no doubt they'll be more impressive than ever. Cooking is more than recipes and precision. Rely on your intuition to determine how Earth will harmonize with your theme ingredient. One hundred years ago, some of our forebears were reluctant to consume monster flesh, fearing the effects of cursed meat. Chefs of the Brigade searched far and wide for the most animal-like monsters to convince these holdouts. Among the first accepted by the populace was the succulent Cragmore! Vive la Brigade!
other girl's hand. Did you keep it? Did I? Ew, no! That's not even what happened! You gave it back then? Let's, uh... Let's talk about this later. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Unthinkably terrible. Superb. My congratulations.
victory goes to a team that's as charming as they are skilled. The Teetotalers! Aww.
Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Virtually inedible. Excellent. in harmony. Oh, quite delicious. Fresh from her reinstatement. The Iron Stomach proves she's playing to win. Mina Han is victorious. Yeah! <sighs> that was pretty fun. But now I could use a nap. It was a hard-fought battle, that's for sure. This is actually my first loss. I'm so happy to finally meet someone tough. Here. I want you to have this, Mina. You're my best friend now. Aside from T-Bot, of course. Big day? You have no idea. Today made me wonder if I can really do this. Get into the brigade and stop the blight? Maybe it's too much. Psh, for you? Look, I whittled this from some spare kindling in my room. I thought you deserved a good luck charm, between tournament battles and secret meetings. Honestly, this is perfect timing. It's a reminder my friends are with me. That makes this next part awkward. But I gotta go. Flower duty calls. <laughs> perfect timing once again. Oh, and Mina? Yeah? Don't forget to win. <laughs> you got it. So sleepy, but I made a promise to write and I'm gonna follow through this time. Dear Ma, Pa, and Kiki, this is harder than I thought. Mina, come quick, there's good news. Uh, what? 
I really need to remember to lock that door. Get dressed and let's go. All right. You're reminding me of my mom. Where are we going? To Belchior's. Ah, now that my two best assistants are here, I can commence with the announcement. Did you figure out a vaccine for the monster virus? I wish, but that one is going to take a bit more time. No, it's... You finished the Ambrosia Project? My word! Can't you give an old scientist his moment? Oh, sorry. Well, don't keep her in suspense any longer. With your help? Yes, you guessed it! We've completed Ambrosia! An adorable travel size for now until I can get it cleared by the brigade. Whoa! Congratulations, Belchior! Can we give it a taste? My dear, you needn't even ask. I've prepared a meal for all of us to share. One dish has no ambrosia, and the other does. I'm so excited. So, how is it supposed to work again? By itself, it doesn't taste like anything at all. But each spray on a dish heightens the existing flavors. Think of how salt accentuates sweetness. But this works across multiple flavor profiles at once. Bon appetit. First, the base dish. This is good, Belchior. Brace yourselves. Now for the modified dish. It really works! I was curious about whether all the heightened flavors would clash, but it makes them clearer. Granted, you must still start with a good base. This is not a shortcut. If you start with a terrible dish, it will just accentuate the bad tastes threefold as well. Amazing! Here, I want you each to have samples. When I can reproduce these results, I can give you more. Thank you, Belchior. Yeah, this is really cool. Thank you. What exactly has been going on in here? Pardon? My associates and I are just celebrating a culinary breakthrough. This guy again. Mina Han of the Windy Village. I challenge you to a duel. Excuse me, but we're in the middle of something right now. Could you try again another time? No, I will not be slighted one more time. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. No one talks to my students that way. When you cut me in line, you set off a fuse, and your time is up, Missy. As soon as I got to the registration table, a bird flew by and dropped a gross gift right on my luscious locks. Didn't you hear that's good luck? I got some on my cloak when I first came into town. If you hadn't cut, I'd have been done registering and free of bird droppings. Then I needed to get a place to stay. And who do you think took the very last room at the Regal Warren? A room that would have been mine if it weren't for you. I slept in a smelly old tavern filled with drunkards that night. I had to share a mattress. Yikes. The next day, I headed to the practice kitchens and all the stations were taken but one. As I was walking calmly to the sign-in booth, you and your friends rushed past me and took the last spot. Hmm. I suppose we were rushing because we wanted to make sure we had time before the opening ceremony. I was so unfamiliar with the arenas later that I lost my first match. Is this fellow serious? Yes. Yes, he is. I'm not leaving here until you accept my challenge. You don't have to listen to someone so entitled, Mina. Of course I accept your challenge. Why didn't you just ask me sooner? Well, young man, you best be prepared. Oh, I'm ready. Iron Stomach, you've met your match.
Today's challenge is the culmination of a highly contentious rivalry between two up-and-coming talents. Both contestants have traveled far and fought hard for their place in this tournament. But only one may continue. Who will prevail? Today's challenger should count himself warned. The Iron Stomach's blades are at the ready. Mina! A brash new challenger who has a bone to pick with the notorious Iron Stomach. I give you Wise, the Righteous Fury! You won't last another day here. Wise! Not much is known about this judge, except that he appears to help those in need. The people of Victusia raise their glasses to Kevin the Generous! Sup? I'm here to try a dish with lots of fire and earth. I'm proud to present the fierce and noble warrior, Vivian the Vagrant! Thank you, Chairman. I look forward to the battle between these two strong chefs. Strength is a duality. Warriors combine mind and body to achieve victory. Knowing this, you must present me a dish worthy of a warrior. Equal parts water and fire. The great ogre philosopher Skurens divined metaphysical truths from the stars in a faraway tower. She rejected modern comforts to live encased in a realm of endless night. Not much is known about her, save that she favored a rather unusual carrier fowl. For what creature could withstand that brutal darkness except... Scowl! <laughs> Vive la Brigade! Ah! <laughs> 
I bet you guilted the other chefs in losing with your wide-eyed farm girl shtick. Pathetic. Not as wide as your eyes are gonna be when the judges taste my dish. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Subular dish, man.
another stunning victory for the Iron Stomach. Minaha wins! <laughs> well, madam, I've lost fair and square. Weiss, it was a good match. I hope you know I never meant to hurt anyone. <laughs> I was just impatient. <laughs> Maybe you can start wearing a hat in case of bird danger from above. Uh, that's the least of my problems now. I guess I'll have to try again next year. Uh, do you mean this was your last strike? I have six wins. I waited to challenge you as my last victory to make it into the finals. But the thing is, I also had four losses. Everything was on the line for this battle. You may be knocked out, but you're not knocked down. You're a great chef, Weiss. And you better try out again. Perhaps I will. As much as I hate to admit it, you gave me the drive to make it this far. For that, I'm grateful. Here, so you'll never forget me. See you around someday. Thanks for coming. It was a favor to Mina. Now, let's see this evidence. <laughs> to the point as usual. I agree, though. What did you find? This. Hidden in the desk of one Grandmaster Rixel. Him. Their plans to extract samples from the Dark Realm. Samples for what? I'm not sure. Most of these notes are scribbles. Turn the page. <gasps> he injected monster cells with the samples he found there. And that isn't all. His drawings are identical to the mutated cells I've been studying. So this man, Rixel, he did start the outbreak. I don't think the Brigade would sign off on something like that. He's gotta be hiding it from them. Ziggy, you were right! Don't look so surprised. We need to tell Razzle. No! Kieran? I'm sorry, but we can't. You remember how she handled your expulsion. We don't know how many Brigadiers are involved in this. Her reverence for the rules could put Rixel's findings in untrustworthy hands. Though I detest the methodology by which we acquired this information, we can't ignore it now. Right on, Diamonds. Kieran's right, but Razzle's already investigating the break-in. If we're going to solve this ourselves, we have to be careful. We should go about our normal lives and finish up the tournament. Maybe let this rest for a few days. But won't that give the mutation more time to spread? The Brigade's got the outbreak under control for now. But they need us to put an end to it. We aren't much good to Victuja if we're under investigation. Then it's settled. We'll go about our normal lives until we're in the Brigade. A Brigadier's life isn't really for me, but I'll keep myself busy. Okay, good luck everyone. You too, Blue Jay. Feels weird to be the one to actually knock a chef out of the tournament. And don't even get me started with Rixel. I should write about it, I guess. Let's see. Still no cure for the monster epidemic, but Belkior and Kieran are working non-stop. I miss you, and I hope you're all safe. look really cool in your uniforms. Mine feels a little tight. I might have to lose a few pounds. It feels strange to be wearing them before the closing ceremony. People have already asked us for help like we're staff. Well, we really are in the brigade. They just haven't thrown us a party yet. I know we're supposed to be laying low, but have you guys discovered anything else? Not quite, but I did do some experiments after Belkior went to sleep last night. And here I always think of you as such a rule follower. A 
little time with the Blue Jays really corrupted you. <laughs> hey, I'm just passionate. Quite so. Can I do anything to help? Soon. I'll call you all together as quickly as possible. For now, the plan remains the same. Which means you've got a match against the final three to win. It's weird to say with everything else going on, but I'm really nervous about my match. I don't find it odd at all. I felt the same way before mine. Hey, don't sweat it. You're gonna be perfect. Exactly. You'll be joining us tomorrow and hopefully by then I'll have more definitive data. All right, I'll put all my energy into my match prep then. Then it's the final three who should be nervous. We better head out. It's nearly time to report for our first official assignments. Bye. Oh. Palm? Palm? Where did Parmesan go? Pecorino, where's your brother? How goes it, Belchior? I'm stumped. I thought I was on to something, but I'm going to need to do more digging. Got a spare moment? That's why I'm here. Excellent. Give me a hand with these tricky ingredients.
How's that, Belchior? Splendid! Unfortunately, it's conjured more questions than it's solved. Don't tell me we're not any closer to finding the vaccine. My dear girl, progress is slow in the world of science. We're closer than we've ever been. Instructor Thorn. Tell me, girl, how old are you? Uh, 21, ma'am. Then you must know. Our jackalope antler is not appropriate for anniversary gifts anymore. I can't keep up with the latest crazes everyone in the city flocks to from one year to the next. Whatever happened to sharing dragon's blood wine atop battlefield ruins? I'm the best person to give advice on these things. Kieran has a fiance and she's so trendy. Maybe you could ask her. Hmm, perhaps I will. Carry on. There's a new assignment on the wall. About what? A gift so rare, it's nearly legendary. Wow! What is it? That's none of your concern. Sorry I asked. Thank you. 
I best make use of your value still available. Soon you're going to be the brigades. I'll still stop by. Maybe to eat. But you'll be too busy to help here. Trust me. I may have mentioned it to you, but two of my sous chefs entered the tournament this year. Only one of them made it in the other day. It's hard to see best friends separated like that. But he's here and back at work instead of fretting about it. I think this whole thing has made him even more determined. Wow, he's taking it much better than I did. Guess I'll have to work even harder. Appreciated. Oh, this is so good. Absolutely wonderful. May the champions walk with you, Mina. Thank you, Pontita. I'll do my best to make you proud. The Nazura orcs believe the weapon the chef chooses as their own becomes an extension of themselves. The two share a common desire, a goal, a collective consciousness, if you will. So too must a chef wield their ambition as a weapon, a blade that carves a path forward, but never at the expense of their fellow chefs. The chefs before you today embody that principle. They are the best the tournament has to offer, but must survive one last battle to reach the final three. Like a tea rose that blooms from spring till fall, the Iron Stomach returns for another round. Mina! Before you stands an orc with fingers nimbler than the most dexterous self. Grand Patissier Wart! I'm a baker, not a cream buff. Don't mistake me for a pushover! Wart! Wart! 
On the far left, Instructor Meriday. I look forward to thoroughly scrutinizing each dish's profile and composition. Ensure your work is of the highest standard. I'd rather like to see how the contestants combine the brightness of water with the density of lupir meat. In the middle, Chief Engineer of the Seon Institute, Lian! I'm not here to make friends or stroke egos. Bring me something impressive or go home in shame. My main concern is your ability to effectively take down your quarry. For that reason, I've decided to request fire and earth to see how you fare against multiple types of beasts. On the end, Grand Matriarch has Jill. A victory today represents a chance to prove yourself in the final gauntlet. I will not administer my praise easily. Lubir is an important ceremonial meal to my people. Traditional preparation features plenty of herbal, earthy seasonings. I'd like an entree that captures that essence. There is an old tale about a goblin who lost her way in the caverns. For days, she wandered its many twists and turns, searching for an exit. Just as she was starving and about to abandon hope, she saw a light. Suddenly ecstatic, the girl ran toward its warm glow, only to run into the jaws of the dreaded... Loop here! Vive la Brigade! Thank <laughs> you.
Tina, I think there's something weird in your pocket. It's a thing that says go home, Mina. Wait, did you make these for all your matches? That's so clever. Honey, it's a taunt. You're not supposed to compliment me.
Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Lovely. Delightful. Fine work. This'll do, I suppose. My congratulations! Exactly what I wanted. Incredible! The Iron Stomach wins her last qualifying match in a jaw-dropping sweep. Minaha wins! I did it! match. The committee extended the strikeout count from three losses to five, remember? When the tournament started, I was one of the first to be eliminated. Now I'm at loss number four. I only have one chance left. Then pull yourself together and make it the best win streak the competition has ever seen. Impossible! Well, not quite. I haven't actually lost a match yet. Wait, you? What are my biscuits, Mina? You're my inspiration from now on! Dear Mimi, Alex has been helping around the restaurant a lot and he's begun to play music out front sometimes. I was afraid Pa would get annoyed, but I think he actually likes him. The restaurant is doing fine now that we handle the ingredients more carefully. 
Ma is resilient as ever, working day and night as usual. Oh, I'm so close! Finals, here I come. Helping people as part of the brigade is going to be amazing! Those uniforms look so cool! Oh, I wonder if I'll get brigade issue knives. It feels good to take a break from thinking about the mutation. This is it. The big day. The final three. I just have to breathe. Take it one round at a time. I got this! Hey, Mimi. Kiki! Hey, Alex! Surprise! Your sister was determined to see you in your finals match. Did we make it in time? I can't believe it. This is so weird. Am I still asleep? Nope. You're not dreaming, girl. Sorry, I'm just shocked. I'm so happy to see you. You traveled all this way, but how did you know? Y you Yep, Simon started planning it basically since you left. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Now aren't you glad I told you to pack an extra pair of shoes? The pair I had could have made it all the way. We've packed too much as it is. Ma! Pa! You guys too? She had us pack as if we were moving the entire restaurant here. Ugh. My shoulders are still hurting from the weight of my bag. Mina, you look too thin. Have you been eating at all? Yes! Of course, Ma. I can't believe you all made the trip out here. This is unreal. Saskia, help carry these things to Mina's room. I'll get it. What is all this stuff? I brought you a few things from home. Thought you could use some new pillows and sheets. Ma, I'm at an inn. They provide all those things. Some clothes and some medicine. Have you been taking your daily herbs? Hi, dear. Don't mind us. Just get ready for your big day. How are you all here? I mean, this is wonderful, but what about the restaurant? Ah, uh, we just closed it up for a few days. It'll be fine. Our patrons know we can't miss this. You're lucky Simon and Saskia pushed so hard. If we held off on deciding one more day, you may have already finished. Well, please sit down and get comfortable. I have to run a few errands before my match, but I'll check in on you soon. Phew, well, we can't sit here either. We have to check in at the other inn and then go get some seats at the Coliseum. You're going to watch too? Don't worry. Ma won't be able to backseat cook for you all the way from the audience. Do we have the same mother? Go on. We'll catch up later. Good luck, Mina. Thank you, Ma. You're awesome. You know that, right? I couldn't let you get into the brigade without a cheering squad. Now I have to make it in. I can't let them down. You are gonna be great. Next time we talk, you'll be a brigadier. How may I be of service? I think my cats can sense that you'll be leaving them soon. I'm getting teary just thinking about it, too. No matter where my work takes me, I'm always going to come back and visit. Besides, Pecorino is too cute to leave behind. How about helping me finish these dishes for one last hurrah? It'd be my pleasure.
Uh-oh.
Uh-oh. and get your brigade certification and come back soon, you hear? I will. Thank you for all you've taught me, Belchior. Taught you? <laughs> we were just having some fun here cooking. If you learned anything, that's just a nice coincidence. go huh a note i've left the brigade will send an officer to operate as my proxy don't try to contact me i'm very busy and don't touch my babies i know how every last one of them is left and if i see so much as a fingerprint on them i'll take your fingers i wonder if she's doing some soul searching or just on a mission oh hello there Looking for work, right? That's right. Uh, what happened to Thorn? Oh, beats me. I was too scared to ask. Take your pick of jobs, and I'll ring you up at the end. Thorn for a while. 
when she gets back, can you let her know Mina Han said thank you for her instruction? Duly noted. Here's your reward, miss. Uh, just one thing. It's probably not my place to say this, but is it all right for you to use that chair of hers? Huh, good point. Good point. I'm gonna need to bring a stool in here. Interesting. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be saving all your energy for your big match today? I've got so many nerves running through me. I don't think I can sit still until it's time for my match. Besides, cooking for your customers is the perfect warm-up. Well, I'm not going to stop you. Order up! My sous chef Benley, when you make it in, all right? Everyone keeps acting like I'm a sure thing. But sure, I'll try. Don't let our encouragement fool you into thinking it'll be easy. We just believe in you and your work ethic. You have everything it takes to earn a spot in their brigade. Thank you, Pontita. It's been great working with you. I'm so grateful you took me in. <sighs> it was you that helped me. Now run along. The lunch rush is over. Well, it's been a long road for you, hasn't it, Pumpkin? Sent back home and then brought right back in. But here you are, ready to earn your uniform. It's been a whirlwind, that's for sure. Once you're ready, let me know and we'll head to the Coliseum. Ready, instructor! Let's break a dish! Here we stand, fellow Victusians, on the precipice of greatness. Today our brave challenger is Mina Han of the Windy Village. Let's hear it for the Iron Stomach! Mina! In order to join the ranks of the Battle Chef Brigade, she must fight her way through one final gauntlet. This bout will consist of three rounds. For each round, 
Mina must triumph over one of our most formidable veterans. In the spirit of fair play, these veterans will wait several minutes before starting to cook. Mina, are you ready to take on this challenge? Yes. Then, without further ado, I summon the final three. Knife. Spoon. Fork. Lieutenants, any words of advice for our chef before you go head to head? Be true to yourself. Of course, you should think about your diner's experience, but make sure you're in love with the dish you're creating. Let's have some fun! The real loser in any cook-off is the one that isn't enjoying themselves. Always have a plan and stay sharp. Without focus, any talented chef can lose track of time. Thank you for your wisdom, Lieutenants. I shall now impart some of my own. Mina, you may face this challenge by yourself, but you have not walked this path alone. In times of doubt, close your eyes and think of your loved ones. You will find their strength inside of you, filling your heart and pushing you to be your best self. The best chef is the one who understands that bond one who translates that love into their cuisine. Mina, in this first round, you need only make one dish for our favorite politician, Ambassador Akebo. I'm no stranger to settling diplomatic disputes, but somehow this feels more intense. Best of luck to you, Mina. While surrounded by all this culinary fervor, I'd be remiss not to ask for a bold, fire-laden entree. Well said. With each round, we will reveal another judge, and you'll need to cook a dish for each. Please don't forget that. We will also connect the magic portals to a different arena per round. The theme ingredients for this match are special indeed. They represent the most sacred aspects of the brigade. Passion. A brigadier is not simply a chef. They are an ambassador. They spread education and joy where once there was famine and despair. The fire in a brigadier's heart is crafted from their never-ending desire to aid others. There is but one creature in all of Victuja whose fury can match their fire. The merciless dragon. Lieutenant Spoon, Lieutenant Ford, if you would please return to your stations until it's time for your matches. A former soldier turned brigadier, Lieutenant Knife is equally adept at satisfying discerning pallets and disarming enemies. They call her the Judge's Downfall. On behalf of the Brigade Committee and all of Victuja, Vive la Brigade! Whose cuisine will reign? It's Mina! versus Lieutenant Knife.
Are you nervous, Iron Stomach? More than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Good. A nervous chef is a pretty one. I'll take your word for it. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what our judge has to say about your efforts. The flavor, it's outstanding. Delicious. The Iron Stomach's done it. Mina Han wins! Yeah! Beautiful cooking, Mina. I can see the heart you put into the dish. Wow, thank you very much. Mina, you may now take a moment to prepare for round two. We'll begin as soon as you're ready. Let round two commence! The two judges for the second round are Instructor Meriday. We've seen many excellent dishes this year. This entry must be technically perfect to avoid disqualification. I'm asking for a dish only featuring water, but that means the flavor profile must be perfection. The next judge is... Well, I'm not quite sure who he is. His note just reads, Rudis, actor, artist. Nice speech there, Cherry. Those of us left awake are ready for some good eats. <clears throat> These muscles don't feed themselves, you know. Body by earth and water, my friends. The next brigadier you face is known for turning simple meals into exquisite works of art. Diners are always in store for an extraordinary experience with the transformative gastronomer, Lieutenant Spoon. We now turn our attention to this round's theme ingredient, resilience. A brigadier understands their limits, but seeks endlessly to test them. While they may falter when beset with a seemingly impossible task, nevertheless, they persevere. No monster tests a contestant's dexterity better than this next adversary. A being so impregnable, it's as solid as the mountains themselves. Only a true battle chef can overcome 
the unyielding Armor Rock. <laughs> Chefs, begin.
Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Lovely. A delicacy. I'm gonna have to work that off. Delicious. Another stunning victory for the Iron Stomach. Minaha wins! <laughs> you definitely got what it takes. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you, Lieutenant Spoon. I'm honored. We're almost there, Mina. Take one last moment to prepare, and then the match that decides it all will begin. On my right is Pontida, Discipline's Hammer. German? Mina, ignore any distractions and focus on your work. Lieutenant, I look forward to seeing your skill in person. I'm not one for exotic tastes in fine dining. Bring me an earth dish worthy of the brigade, but suitable for my crescent regulars. In keeping with our traditions, I will serve as first judge of this final match. I've watched your skill grow with each match. It is my honor to test your merit. It's a chairman's privilege to request a taste profile as resplendent as himself. An unusual dish that harnesses all flavors in a powerful rainbow gem. That is what I ask of you. And on my left, Thorn the Blightstalker! Hmm? Right. Bring me a dish worthy of my trophy wall, and don't disappoint me. Too many times in life I've sought, only to catch fire and crash back into the unforgiving ground. Give me something that makes me relive the taste of that fire and earth. Preferably a good pairing with Dwarven Red. For our final theme ingredient, we plunge from the highest of heights into the deepest depths to discover the last piece of Brigadier philosophy. Unity. Lurking beneath the molten lakes of the caverns, the final theme ingredient is one that displays just how much scarier two heads are than one, and how truly terrifying six can be. The brigade could not stand if every member didn't work together, regardless of their role, their background, their skills. Those adventurous enough to trek deep into the mountains will come face to face with Victuja's master mutator, the deceptive Hydra! It's time to go all out. Chefs, stun us with your visionary creations. Let the final round begin!
parents came from a small village like yours. Really? Mm -hmm. They always said you leave a bit of where you're from. That's true. There's going to be more farming soil in here than I'd like. <laughs> Quite so. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Truly commendable. Wonderful. Transcendent. Yes, good. And with that, the Iron Stomach earns her place in the brigade. It is my joy to present Mina Han. Our newest brigadier. Woohoo! I knew when I saw that spark in your eye that we had a winner, and I'm glad that I wasn't let down. Mina Han, well done. Well done indeed. To the brigade. I was moved watching you cook. Every chef should have as much determination as you do. Thank you, lieutenants. I can't wait to begin working. Everyone, please put your hands together for our newest battle chef, Mina Han. She did it. I knew she could do it. Go, Mina. This year's tournament has to have been our fiercest yet. I am so proud of all our contestants. The way our country's chefs fought back the monster epidemic was swift and decisive. Even now, our team is hard at work continuing to figure out the cause and the solution. Every one of the chefs before me took part in the safety of our people, putting aside their own hopes and dreams for the tournament. Today, we celebrate the new members of the Battle Chef Brigade. They will go on to be ambassadors, protectors, providers, researchers, and pioneers. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Battle Chefs! And so, Mina joined the ranks of the Battle Chef Brigade, and it was the happiest moment of her life. Unfortunately, she had no time to rest on her hard-won laurels. The mystery of the mutation still loomed overhead. As it cut a swath throughout Victusia, the mutation touched many lives. from Ardia today. I hope the kids aren't giving her too much trouble. What am I saying? They better watch out for her! <laughs> no. 
Nothing for Mart? What's this? in a scuffle yesterday. Instructor Razzle expelled last night. Wart? No, no, the small one with the yellow kerchief. You can't be Mina? She got expelled? Oh, yes. Left this morning. What happened? Nearly chopped an elf girl's arm off. Saw it with me own eyes. That doesn't sound like Mina. Hey, how many fingers am I holding up? We'll never be able to tell with you waving him about. I see. Thanks for the info. I'm gonna need a more reliable source. Can you help? <laughs> Whew. She's not here. I'll see myself out. Wait. Oh, hey, Thorn! Uh, instructor? Got any? That sword. Is it from your right of elements? Oh, Polly? Yeah, he's a steelfish. Well, he was a steelfish. A steelfish is no small adversary. Let me see your abilities.
Perhaps you did earn it. The energies have a sense of humor after all. What do you mean? A question for another time. You're dismissed. Ah, Flash! Good to see you. Hey, Belchior. Got any new jobs today? As a matter of fact, I believe I've discovered the missing ingredient for Ambrosia. It's been eluding me since day one, but I finally pinned it down. Verskit Bezor. Ugh, you sure about that? That? Or it will make a powerful stove cleaner. Sorry we couldn't figure it out today. Not to worry, my boy. The answer is just on the tip of my tongue. We'll have our breakthrough yet. You've heard the news. Yeah, how'd you know? That slump in your shoulders. Mina came by this morning to apologize. Said she hated to quit without notice and thanked me for the possession. It's too bad. But rules are rules. In any case, the best way to move on is to keep moving. Let's serve some customers. If you say so, I'll hit the kitchen. Thank you 
so much. a thousand leagues from here. So many great talents are already gone. What makes me worthier than them? Nothing. Yikes. Maybe you're being too gentle. <laughs> That's reality, recruit. The only difference is that you're here and they're not. Work hard in their honor. <sighs> I can handle that. Thanks, Puntita. Prepare yourself. An ill wind blows from the west today. Its caress a subtle reminder of our mortal fragility. It's on days like these that mothers close the shutters and fathers hold their children tight. But we in the Brigade dwell in the light of hope. We revel in the world and all it has to offer. We push forward, accepting the unknown rather than fearing it. Will Thrash's good fortune continue? Few can stand before his might as the Benevolent Berserker! Yeah, show me what you got. Thrash. Our next contestant is a man who's as altruistic as he is intelligent. Leonid, the gift bringer. Artifice aside, I'm excited to test your skill. Leonid. Presiding over this match is one of our most esteemed judges. Join me today in welcoming back Grand Matriarch Hasju, an orc who embodies this philosophy in everything she does. Thank you, Chairman. Your prose will pair well with an herbal earth dish. Every summer in Sandglass Bay, the proprietors of two famous eateries host a competition to test whose sauce is superior. Both chefs use only items harvested from their personal gardens. They toil all day to achieve gustatory perfection. The unquestioned star of these sauces is one key ingredient. Sun Hat Tomato! Vive la Brigade!
old orcish recipes and add things from other cultures. Do the matriarchs approve? <laughs> uh, most of them. Some of them think it's disrespectful, but I think it brings out the best each cuisine has to offer. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Flavors in harmony! Exactly what I wanted. The benevolent berserker continues to cut a swath through this tournament. Yeah! I should have known better than to tempt my fate. You're even more formidable than I thought, Thrash. <laughs> All this fire in my belly is for more than just digesting food. I've got to share orc fusion cuisine across Victusia. 
fitting, considering its shape so much of our own. Let me know if I can help in any way. Still no word from Ardia. If I could just hear her voice. This was my choice. I knew it meant time away. I have to be strong for them. Ardia, Lupa, Kai, I'll be back soon. A letter! Wait, that's not Ardia's handwriting. Thrash, something terrible has happened. Ardia has taken ill. The doctors cannot find a cure, and her condition worsens every day. She does not eat. She sweats, even in cool weather. She sleeps, but does not rest. The most troubling of all is that her skin has begun to turn pink. I think it best for you to come home. No! No! Thrash, my boy! You managed to corner Fontina! Come inside and I'll give you a reward. No, I have to leave now. Artie is sick, and she might not have much time left. Wait, I don't mean to boast, but Belchior and I possess a wide range of medicinal knowledge. Do you know her symptoms? Fever, refusing food, sleeping all the time, and her skin, it's turning pink. I've read about this. It's Dark Realm Fever, but there's never been a documented case in someone who hasn't ventured there. Due to its dangers, Brigade Sorcerers sealed the Dark Realm's portals many years ago. The fever should be impossible to contract. No offense, but I'll care more about how she got sick after she's cured. Where can I find the antidote? The only known cure comes from the hearts of a Yoku. There's a problem, though. The creature resides in the Dark Realm. Then, it's hopeless? I beg your pardon, but not all of the portals were closed. It's true that the sorcerers closed many of them, but the brigade kept a few alive. So how do I find one? Speak with Thorn. She will be able to guide you there. We'll prepare the necessary ingredients for your return. Good luck, Thresh. Here. Thor! Could you be any louder? Even my trophies can hear you in that dead. I'm sorry, but I need Huntress Thorn right now, not Hangover Thorn. Hmm. Speak. I need to get to the Dark Realm and find a Yoku. Belkior said you'd take me. Has the old fart finally lost his mind? Its hearts are the only thing that can cure my wife. She's sick. And if I lose her, if 
I lose her, I'll never be whole again. I'll send you. W really? Yes, but you're likely to die. Brace yourself. Where can I find the Yoku? The beast only appears once enough monster blood is spilled. Not that I'd know anything about that. Then it's time to get my hands dirty. For Ardia. reflection of the Tuja, but a reflection on the left. We can investigate what we've made out of Yoku is a reflection of fallen monster's rage. Don't underestimate it. I don't know how to thank you. Go. Your wife needs you. Kieran, I brought the hearts! Let me see them. Undamaged. Good. Where's Belkior? How quickly can you make the potion? Belkior stayed up as long as he could, but his age tires him. I know this isn't what you want to hear, but the hearts must be placed in a slow cooker for one night in order to bring out their healing properties. No, I have to leave immediately. You're the smartest person I know. Just make it faster. If you leave now, it's without the potion. I'm sorry, but you have to wait until morning. I'm sorry for snapping, Kieran. It's just, what if I can't make it in time? Fortune casting is the province of the superstitious, but just this once, I'm certain that will not happen. I believe in you, and I know Ardia does too. There's nothing I can do to help you finish faster? No, go back to the inn and get some rest. You'll need your strength for the journey tomorrow. 
Just a few more days, Ardia. Please don't leave me. Thrash, are you in there? Something terrible has happened. The hearts are gone. Thieves, bandits, I tell you. I'm coming. Hurry, I'll meet you back at the lab. What is this? They're really gone? I'm afraid so. I'll go back to the Dark Realm. We'll get new hearts. I admire your spirit, but the Yoku can only be summoned once per lunar cycle. But we may be able to make an antidote without them. Why didn't you tell me that yesterday? My lad, this is the longest of long shots, but it's all we have. it well, but I'm afraid the ingredients denatured. They can't bear the heat without the Yoku hearts. Belkir, I can't accept this is over. You may not need to. While you were cooking, I found this. The thieves must have left it. Several would-be apprentices came in wearing this color recently. It was the same with all of them. One day they disappear, along with a piece of my research. You think they're part of the same group? Yes. Bandits! Do you know where I can find them? I'm not sure, but look for the red cloth. In the meantime, I've sent Kieran out for more herbs. She and I will keep working on a backup. Thank you, Belkir.
Uru. That is the name of my bow. She was once an enormous river purr. She called to me so strongly I could hardly hear anything else, even as a young girl. I've never heard of that happening before. Neither had my parents. I would wander from my tribe for days. Mother organized great search parties to drag me back home. I always snuck away soon after. Where did you find Apuru? I woke before dawn on the day I turned 15, the call pounding in my head. Apuru was there, waiting in the shadows outside my village. The beast I'd scoured the rainforest for just days earlier. The bitter irony. Well, she's a nice bow. That's a grave understatement. Why'd I open my mouth? What's up? Pontita. You don't have to say anything. The fact that you're here means something went wrong. Well. <laughs> Seems more like everything's going wrong. All right, that's enough. I know you're going through a lot. But stand up straight and get ready to face it. What? Are you going to mop while your family needs you? No. Now get in there and serve some customers. Delicious! Thank you. Thanks. Ooh, thanks. How do you feel? <sighs> Not worse? Snap out of it, recruit! You're going to get out there and find those bandits! Maybe. And you're going to make that antidote! Yeah! And you're going to see your wife and kids and be a happy family again!
Is the coast clear? <clears throat> Lend me thine ears, fellow citizens, for I have a tale most magnanimous to tell. Whoa, wait a minute. Who are you? Well, my good fellow, thine is a question fraught with existential intrigue. In the simplest of terms, I have the high honor to be Fane Paz the Brilliant, founder and illustrious leader of the Scowlheart Bandits. You, you stole the hearts. Do you have any idea what you've done? Hearts? From whence doth this accusation spring? To pronounce such a slight on our honor. I don't have time for this. Where are they? Oi, no one cuts off the fame, does it? Now you'll have to answer to me. Ah, yes, the hearts. Safely in our keeping. Of that, I do for sure. Me. And you ain't gonna get your hands on them unless you go through me. Fine, let's do this. For centuries, this... Oh, wouldst thou look at the time? We've scarcely fallen 20 pence before the next match. In light of thine outburst, mine sumptuous soliloquy must wait. The tragedy. Thine theme ingredient this morrow is... Mochi fruit. Sounds pretty gross. You off your loaf. When your pie's fit with spices, it's all a mess, isn't it? At least this'll be an easy match.
As the illustrious whilst be thine judge, and it wouldst be mine great pleasure to partake in a dish of fire. Let the majesty of mine judging commence! Beshrew thine dish! Stupendous! And lo, with a single flex of his mighty cooking muscles, Thrash claims victory! Yeah! All right, I won. I'd like my hearts now. Not happening. Never trust a bandit, mister. <laughs> Wait! Now, now, my boy. It is not polite to go against blind word. Verily, we shall give you thine heart. Thou hast only earned one. What happened to your word? One for one, tis the code that governs all our wisdom. That is to say, one heart for one duel. I remain a man of my word, but so too am I one of my code. You can't be serious. I need them all now. Oh, wouldst thou look at the time? Tis mine fate to always be in a hurry. Come, Riv, we must take our leave before Kamen arrives. They really were serious. What's this? The other bandits have to be close by. What could they possibly want hearts for? They're not even using them for anything. I have a solution to your bandit problem. Meet me at the Crescent ASAP. Finally, some answers. How's it going?
good you're here. I have a plan to help with the bandits. What do we do? You'll take over for me in the kitchen while I go on a fact-finding mission through the dining room. I've got patrons in here who have traveled from all over. At least one of them must know where the bandits' hideout is. Shouldn't I ask people to? Don't backtalk me, recruit. Our operation needs to be fast and efficient. Just turn out quality meals as fast as possible, and I'll do the rest. so much. Ooh, I went as fast as I could. Did you find anything out? There were a lot of conflicting accounts, but these were the stories I heard over and over. Hit me. One. The bandits are spies from another land. They're here as an act of international espionage to steal our culinary secrets. Them? It's hard to believe they're bandits, much less trained spies. Two. They're roving mercenaries hired by a mysterious character. Mercenaries? Three. The bandits were a group of actors who fell on hard times and turned to crime. That could explain their weird behavior. It's unfortunate we couldn't get concrete facts. I thought it would be worthwhile. Contita, it's fine. I appreciate everything you've done for me. You head home for today. I'll keep an ear out for any news about them. Welcome. Progress on another cure? I may be on to something, but it requires a test subject. Interested in volunteering? Anything to help. Excellent. Begin by reducing these items to their purest elements.
quiz it. Now, take a bite. Did it work? You do look healthier. There's a bit of a glow. Wait, something's happening. Give us every detail. I feel... Oh, no, no, that's not healing anybody. That rules out the whisk root. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Just a little queasy. <laughs> Again, no matter. I've been meaning to ask you, how did you know so much about the Dark Realm? A question for another time, preferably far from now. My wife is dying from Dark Realm fever. I deserve an answer, Thorn. You will tell no one who gave you this information. Swear your oath in monster blood. Deal. never share what I'm about to tell you. I swear. The Dark Realm is a result of the Brigade's hubris. How could we have known? That's, uh, not funny. No, it isn't. Our sorcerers believed they could create multi-purpose portals. Their intentions were good. A way to unite our lands. Bring prosperity to our people. But the portal fractured. What coalesced from the destruction was a chaotic mirror realm, the Dark Realm. Does the committee know? Do they know? They're the ones who deem it forbidden, content to shove it under the rug. I never knew. This world isn't all dumplings and bonbons. The Brigade remains an honorable organization, but a flawed one. That is enough for today. And remember, not a word. Try me. Bye. 
Ah, tis good fortune we meet here again. As before, thou must compete under the resplendent eye of Paz the Magnificent. But first, twould be my pleasure to introduce today's champions. The first being this rather disagreeable gentleman and loser of various hearts, the Rush the Mighty. Hey, you better watch it. Ahem. <clears throat> Second in name, but most assuredly not in spirit. It is mine pleasure most high to present Lutter the Silver Tongued. Thy flattery is well received. Wait, weren't you talking normally before? Dorothy, I prithee, what wouldst thou ask of our competitors? Pardon my shilly shallying, oh good thing, but I cannot choose betwixt two flavors. Verily, I wouldst enjoy a spot of fire and earth blended in harmony. On this morrow most fine, mine taste turns to a fire-filled dish. And now, without further delay, and with Dorothy's glowing presence beside me, I shall reveal our theme ingredient post-haste. Lapazard!
now, Dorothy. Let us make haste and eat before our meals cool. Absolutely magnificent. Shimmy shammy, that's excellent. Rejoice! It's time you gave our competitor his due. But boss, he said... 
said we'd lose our paycheck if the goods weren't delivered. Scandal! Pray tell, Lotta, wouldst thou defy mine orders and speak as a common knave? I prithee, Thane. How can we put food on thine table if we give the heart to this orc? We shall manage, as have we always. Hurrah! Here you are, Sir Thrash. You mentioned a paycheck. Who hired you? Why do they want my hearts? Twould be dishonorable to break faith with our employer. But stealing's fine? <laughs> Some moral code. What's this? Hmm. Two out of three. Where could the last one be? Thrash, may I enter? Yeah, come on in. It's about the remedies Belkior and I have been working on. Did one of them hold up? No, and I'm afraid none of them will. Belkior says we must keep trying, but I've used the entirety of my medicinal knowledge and still cannot produce a cure. I... I failed. Now, when you need me most, my expertise is meaningless. Kieran, I've had days to find the bandit, and only two hearts to show for it. You've done more than I could ever ask. Failure is the absence of progress. You have learned more about your opponent every day. That is significant. I wish I could say the same. I couldn't be prouder to call you my friend. You've worked non-stop since I told you about Ardia. Have you even slept? Have you? Well, I... not much. Then let's remedy that, for both of our sakes. I am certain you could use a full night's sleep. You're probably right. Are you going to be okay? Yes. And yourself? I hope so. Kieran was right. I do feel better. Oh, may I be of service? some news for you, or what I hope is news. A breakthrough? Of a kind. I've been racking my brain for some clue as to who might have hired those bandits, and I have a hypothesis. I had an associate back at Oris Academia, Rixel. He was talented, but lacking in empathy. He became very angry at the Brigade's decision to fund me out of university, and attempted to sabotage my efforts. You think he hired the bandits to steal your research? Perhaps. He too became a member of the Brigade's research corps, but you wouldn't know it from his demeanor. Do you know where I can find him? No. He hasn't reported to his station in several days. He may believe he's stolen a vital piece of the Ambrosia Project. Codger? Gotcha. I'll see if I can find anything else about him. Thanks, Belkir. Oh! Hey, uh.
How are you doing? Not well. I would say something to make you feel better. But I have a hunch you are beyond that. <sighs> it sure feels that way. Then this is the best I can do for you. Why are you standing around when there are customers to serve? Get to work, recruit! Yes, chef! You know, I think this is what I needed. Glad I could help. I know it's tough right now, but I believe in you. Thanks, Puntita. That means a lot coming from you. Hello. into corpses yet. Uh, I haven't gotten all my hearts back, if that's what you mean. A shame, but I do have a surprise for you. A uh, surprise? Doesn't even sound excited. After all that trouble. I'm sure it's nice. I don't need your pity. I feel kind of bad for losing control of myself. Sometimes you need to let go, just for a minute. Hey, I know you're both really busy, 
But I have a favor to ask. Ask away. I only have one heart left to find. It's made of fire. The last time I held it, my hands got burned pretty badly. Ah, say no more. We can assist you in creating a dish to increase your fire resistance. I feel warm. Don't be alarmed. It's merely the dish. Take caution, though. It will only provide the intended effect for 24 hours. You'll need to find the last heart before then. Then I'd better start searching. Thanks, guys. Hello.
fight? All right. Tomorrow, adoring fans, tis mine pleasure to remain Thain Paz the Magnificent on this most exciting morn. As I looked upon the faces of my fellows last night, my mind did waltz among its memories long past. I dreamt a dream of thespians, incredibly talented, yet poorly treated by a society who did not understand their genius. It was then I asked, forsooth, what could... No. No, I won't listen to this anymore! I'm sorry you had to quit acting to become bandits. I'm sorry you're mixed up in this. I wish I could help you. But please listen to me. My wife gets closer to death with every minute you sit around and pontificate. She's never needed me for anything, but I've always needed her. I can't let her down. What is this unbridled anger? Step back, Thane. This orc is danger. That's not it. My transformation stems from something greater. It comes from the warm looks, long nights, quiet moments, and stupid jokes only we'd laugh at. The way she smiled the day I proposed. It comes from love. My dear fellow, t'was never my intention to jeopardize your wife. We shall begin. Speak your desires, mine comrades. Yes, let's see. Returning to the table is Dorothy, along with our utmost talented thespian, Bia. Create a glamorous dish of water and earth, befitting a star of my stature. I require a dish of fire, suitable for my refined palate, of which there is no match in all of Victuja. Nay, privy thou willst make me a dish with fire and earth. Sadio, my most mighty friend, show this orc the flames of our passion. I give thee the most superlative ingredient for the task. Squiggle!
Now we shall see, the cunning knave. Canst thou give our judges what they crave? I'm getting really tired of this. For your fatigue, I shan't atone. This mode is mine. Tis flesh and bone. <sighs> Gotta stay calm. Focus on our... Dorothy, shall we partake of the feast before us? Bewitching flavors. Bewitching flavors. St 
stupendous! My taste buds rejoice! Tasted something so divine. Resplendent. Bested our strongest member. I pronounce thee the winner. Hurrah! It's over. Now give me my heart. I remain a man of mine honor. I will give this to thee. But I prithee, what is wrong with thy wife? We obeyed the tale with bated breath. Can't you people take a hint? There's no time to spare, and I've already wasted so much <sighs> chasing you around! <sighs> the truth is, she has Dark Realm fever. No one knows how she got it, but these hearts are the only things that have a shot at curing her. They're my only hope. Tragic. Romantic. Dramatic. I'm interested that. Quite simply, it's the most moving story mine ears have ever heard. And to think we are the villains. We don't have to be. I, as the merciful, would like to offer our sincerest regrets. It is my solemn vow to you that we depart the way of the bandit and return to the path of theater. Great. And heart? All yours in it. And to heighten thy story's tension, take a bit of information. Rixel's hideout lies in a basement under King's Square. Do with that what thou wilt. Ah, oh, yes! The drama! Thanks. You, mine good sir, shalt always be an honorary member of our motley cast. You may call upon us at your whim, and we shalt appear ready to assist. Seriously, I have to leave. Of course. Onward to thine goal. May a thousand headstrong bow run pull ye to thine destination. Kirin, Belkio, I have the final heart. Well done. Hurry, give them to me. We need to begin the distillation process immediately. Will it still take 12 hours? There's no way around it. In order to properly hydrolyze the hearts, they need to be cooked at a low temperature for many hours. Twelve truly is the quickest. Anything less and the tincture may not be effective. I can't stand waiting to see her anymore. There has to be something I can do. Your intentions are good, Thrash, but you have to think about what's best for Ardia. Rushing the preparation may have extraordinarily negative consequences. I know, I know, you're right. It's just hard to stand by and do nothing. Come back at the first light of dawn. Leave the rest to us. Just one more night, and I'll see her again. Hold on, Ardia. You did it! It's real! Quite real. Finished just 3.2 minutes ago. Then there's no time to lose. Wait, 
You did so much to help me. Maybe I can pay Ritzel a visit and suggest he stops trying to sabotage you. The bandits told me he's hiding out in the basement at King Square. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, but Ritzel cannot stand in the way of science, however hard he may try. Still, Belchior, perhaps you should visit him and attempt to put this grudge to rest. I will accompany you as protection. Hmm, but he's got his rats everywhere. How unsanitary in a place of experimentation. <laughs> There's no need to be such a curmudgeon. In any case, we can discuss this later. Thrash must be on his way. I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you. You don't need to. Just go. We'll catch up when you return. But I'm not... My apprentice has the right of it. We wish you only the best. Yeah, thank you. It right there, recruit. Instructor Rizal, I really have to go. You haven't participated in a match since July 8th. Why? My wife fell ill and I've been working on an antidote. I haven't had time to think about anything else. It's good that you're here, though. I'd like to formally withdraw myself from the Proving Tournament. I see. Are you sure this is what you want? You're one of our brightest talents this year. And I don't dole out praise flippantly. My family's more important than my place in the tournament. They're the whole reason I came here. Very well, Thrash. Your resignation is denied. What? You will return to your family as planned. I will leave this meeting to state that intent. However, I will not disclose the rest of our discussion. We need orcs like you in the Brigade. Your heart and candor, they can't be taught. You will make a fine Brigadier. Instructor, I... If you should not return in time to finish your matches, I will take that as your official resignation. Until then, I look forward to watching you compete again. Dismissed! How am I moved? Scared? And sad? All at once? Take it easy. <laughs> I've rested enough for one lifetime. I've missed you. I've missed you too. More than anything. Father! Ardia, there, there are so many things I wish to say to you. For now, be at ease. I will tell the villagers of your recovery. Ardia. I know what you're going to say and I won't hear it. You know I can't go back after this. I almost lost you once. I won't let that happen again. And I won't let you give up on what you've worked so hard for. Kai, Lupa, how would you like to go on a trip? Yeah! We can't take the kids. Monsters are attacking anything in sight. Then 
We'll protect our pups from any monsters foolish enough to get in our way. You serious? I'm not chieftain yet. We can take a vacation to watch you achieve your dream. I don't know what to say. Say yes. Okay, okay, yeah. We'll leave in the morning. It's bigger than I remember it. Yeah, and it's full of the most talented chefs in Victusia. Do I detect hesitation? What? Me? Never! You never were good at lying. How about this? A duel, you and me! Um, Ardia, I think we should go to the inn. Don't tell me you're scared. Come on, let's shake the rust off together! Dolpha Maiden request a duel! And we're too late. Who are these people? Ah, well, it is my great pleasure to be. Has the talking. They're my, uh, I guess they're my friends. Even better. Now we have an audience. <laughs> oh no, good lady. Thou hast a performance. Welcome again, mine bosom compatriots! On this finest of morrows, it is mine humblest of honors to speak to thee from the practice kitchen. Two contestants, both aligned by matrimony, stand ready to face one another in a war of wills. A bit dramatic, isn't he? <laughs> you don't know the half of it. <clears throat> Presiding over thine parents' fate are our special guest judges. Wait, pray tell, what are their names? Kai! Lupa! Give me Lala! Mommy, Daddy, can I have Earth? My stomach yearns for fiery spices to chick across mine tongue! Thy prithy! What ingredient could match the magnanimity of our occasion? An Oberoch spike! A Hydra's tooth! A dragon's wing should be the thing! Taka belly! T'would seem thou doesn't grasp the gravity! Taka belly! Taka belly! Taka belly! Taka belly! Very well, I relent. Thy theme ingredient indeed is... Taka belly! So what do I get when I 
So you can enjoy brigade time. But when I win, I'll buy you a new set of cookware. Although I think I'll be too busy enjoying brigade town. Yeah? <laughs> we'll see about that.
And now, we shall determine a winner. My favorite! Is heavenly. Marvelous. Who's laughing now, dear? <laughs> You've proven your point. I'm proud. Us too! Us too! Us too! Aw, pups. You guys are the best. Thrash's family had faced a trial greater than any cooking duel. But ah, uh, love drove them forward and they remained triumphant in the end. Their tales so moved the scowl hearts to turn away from crime and create a new genre of entertainment, food cart dinner theater. If you recall, Thrash went on to join the brigade alongside Kieran and Mina. The tournament and its festivities have ended, but what shall we make of the epidemic that plagues the land of Victusia? Let us return to the tale of our heroes and see what becomes of all this. Okay, you're in. Congrats and all that, but we have bigger things to do. For once, I agree with you, and I believe I have a solution. Why didn't you say something earlier? I wasn't sure until just before the ceremony, and thought it unwise to reveal anything in the presence of our fellow brigadiers. What did you find? A true cure. It doesn't just relieve the symptoms of those who ingest infected meat. It cures the corruption itself. I've already tested it on a variety of infected cells with a 100% success rate. The only thing I need now is a live test subject. We have to catch one of them long enough to give it the cure? Yikes. Maybe not. Jelly here has an affinity for monsters. As long as it's small, he can keep it docile. We should set out immediately then. But what about Rixel? Now that we're Brigadiers, we have to take him into custody. We can't let him get away after all the destruction he's caused. By the time Belkior and I arrived at his hideout, he was already gone. We couldn't find any clues as to where. Deus Ex Ziggy to the rescue. He's in the dark realm. I've been taking strolls there since I followed you and Thorn through. Thought they might come in handy. Huh, just taking strolls in a dangerous forbidden nether realm? Uh, of course you were. Thrash. You and I need to find him before he disappears again. Agreed. But that leaves Kieran with... Go. Neither of these missions can wait, and Ziggy has been helpful thus far. If we're to persevere, we must do it together. And let's get this done. For Vitusia!
What's up? This is the dark realm? The whole place feels like it's in pain. Yeah, I got chills from opening the portal. Wait, are we ready for this? I mean, this man caused our friends and family so much pain. Not to mention the general population. I... I don't think I've ever been this angry. I know, but don't get distracted. It's time to bring Rixel to justice. We're not here for revenge. See anything yet? Ziggy's directions don't make a lot of sense. Go left at the creepy statue? Everything's creepy in here. Wait, I see it! And what, pray tell, is this? Rixel, for your crimes against Victusia, you're obligated to stand trial in the Kitchen Coliseum. By the power vested in us, by the Battle Chef Brigade. We declare you under arrest. Don't even think about trying to escape. You're cornered, old man. Cornered, you say? We'll see about that. Ah! He's getting away! Handle the Oku. I'll catch Rizzo. trial of Alchemist Rixel is now in session. Prosecution, you may present your evidence. Instructor, this man hired bandits to steal my research and impeded our attempt to resolve the monster epidemic. It's true. He gave us a payment in his coin purse. It says Rixel on the inside. This thief must have stolen it from me as I stood here. That's not all. We discovered Rixel is to blame for the mutation in the first place. He poisoned the monsters on purpose! Lies! Silence! You'll be given time for your rebuttal. Mina, can you substantiate your claim? Rixel recorded how he infected the monsters in these notes. Take a look for yourself. He used samples from the Dark Realm. The old fool. To commit treason, then write it down. I ran tests on the infected monster cells and confirmed Rixel's research was the cause of the mutation. I've brought samples for you to examine. I see. The samples confirm your claim. Rixel, you are charged with theft, destruction of property, conspiracy, and treason. The punishment for these crimes is banishment from the Brigade, and a sanction upon your culinary power. How do you plead? 
Not guilty, Instructor. I am appalled by these blatant falsehoods. Are you really going to take the word of these hooligans? The research they mentioned was stolen from a brigade lab. Curious that you never reported it missing. How do you explain the documents presented? Instructor, please. I was only trying to end the true blight. I sought to cure monsters once and for all, but the committee only cared about his uninspired Ambrosia project. It doesn't have to be like this, Rixel. We can put the past behind us and move forward. If only you'd let go. I refuse to take advice from a hack like you. Prattling away about perfect flavors when there's real work to be done. I'm twice the alchemist you'll ever be. Rixel, since you've been unable to present compelling evidence to the contrary, I pronounce you guilty. You will never work as an alchemist again, and are forbidden from all culinary experimentation. No! Alchemy is my lifeblood. I demand a trial by cooking. A trial by cooking? Brigade law dictates that anyone accused of a crime may request it. The severity of Rixel's crimes only make him eligible for a reduced sentence. He won't get away. By order of the Battle Chef Brigade, we will honor your appeal and commence the trial by cooking. Prosecution, who do you name as your champion? It's all you, Blue Jay. But I... Mina, you're the most focused, talented chef I know. If anyone can defeat Rixel, it's you. To never practice alchemy again, though? I know he made bad decisions, but didn't he try to do something noble? I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't cook. I know what he said, and I know he means it. You still can't let him win. Trust me, Mina. He'll hurt more people than you can imagine. I trust you. All of you. Instructor, I'll face him. Very well. If Mina wins, Rixel will be convicted and forever banned from alchemy. If Rixel prevails, however, he'll be allowed to continue alchemy under the strict supervision of a brigade veteran, but may only cook with dull pots and pans. The rules are the same as ever. Provide each of our judges the best cuisine, but this time, the extent of Rixel's conviction is on the line. I've assembled our top judges, Maridane, Hasjil, and Akebo, to sit in judgment for this trial. The theme ingredient for this match represents the many threads that brought you here. Hydra! <laughs> Chefs, begin!
Sam. Up yet, girl. You'll never defeat a master object like me. Try to stop. Try to stop me. I want to destroy the blight as much as you do. Are we really so different? Look at what you're willing to do to stop me. Stole from the brigade. Lied to your superiors. Broke brigade law. <laughs> For the greater good. You did them to save lives. Now and in the future. Never sacrifice the present for tomorrow. And we'll never stop fighting for the people who need us.
The judges will now decide Rixel's fate. Delicious! Expertly crafted. Delightful. in me by the Brigade Committee, I shall now declare a winner. Mina wins the match! Yeah! Rixel, I strip you of all stations and titles. You are hereby banished from the Brigade and its satellite institutions. Oh no! You can't do this to me! I bet your so-called peacekeepers didn't even tell you the worst of their crimes. They repeatedly went into the Dark Realm. I suppose it's fortuitous they aren't the ones on trial then. You were given your last opportunity to prove yourself worthy in the Brigade's eyes. You failed. Take him away! You 
you four are in enormous trouble. Breaking into our lab, trespassing in the Dark Realm, what were you thinking? We, we had to act, Instructor. Rixel would still be loose if we hadn't done something. Mina Han, I'm surprised at you. Did you learn nothing from your expulsion? Hold on, the only gravedigger here should be me. I'm the one who broke into the lab and discovered Rixel's whereabouts. Not happy, man. We all did this together, Instructor. I'm sorry we broke the rules, but I stand by what we did. And you, Kirin? I... I found a cure for the mutation. One that will heal the monsters, protect our town, save our people's lives. We couldn't have done that waiting around for brigade approval. Do what you must. You found it? Instructor, I beg you for clemency. It would be absolute folly to toss such talented youngsters aside. And your request shall be granted. Come in. I know they meant well, but they broke fundamental brigade laws. You once told me that leadership wasn't about perfection, but how we deal with our imperfections. Their decisions were flawed, but they've contributed more to Victusia than most of our veterans. All Rixel had to show for his secretive work was an epidemic and countless sick. Now my words come back to haunt me. You're right, Common. You're all on janitorial duty for the next week. And then, you will receive commendations for exquisite service. As for you, Zinfried, I'd like to apologize for the committee's distrust. You may not have finished the tournament, but I name you an honorary brigadier. <laughs> oh, you're killing me! Wait, you're serious? Thanks. For now, we have a cure to administer. We'll make the preparations. You three meet us back at headquarters. Well, guys, it's been corporeal, but I have to leave. Leaving? But we just brought a mad alchemist to justice! You're not even gonna stay for a meal? I completed my task here. It's time for me to go. Where will you go? To hell if I don't change my ways. <laughs> Hamburger, you're the best. You believed in me when nobody did, and made all this possible. What? I wasn't even here for part of the tournament. He's right, Blue. You got us all together. We wouldn't have caught Rixel if you'd stayed in Windy Village. Thank you. All of you mean so much to me. Well, that's all the time I have. He... he's really gone. Oh, and Thrash. When Lupus starts dating that fisherman's son, go easy on him. It's gonna be fine. Wait, what is that? Bye! Goodbye, Ziggy. There goes the strangest guy we'll ever meet. I wouldn't be so sure. Odd things tend to flock to us. And we'll be ready for them. And so, with the help of our bravest chefs, we administered the monster cure across Victusia. Mina, Thrash, and Kirin received their commendations, and a feast was held in their honor. The three friends spent every possible moment together, until the time came for them to part ways. Kirin joined the research branch, and stayed in Brigade Town as Belchior's assistant, though in time she would surpass even him. Thrash swore to protect and provide in our military branch, and set out for home. His village has never been happier, or better fed. Mina followed her dreams of travel into our ambassador branch. Now she treks across Victusia, teaching our ways to the populace and learning new crafts from them. As for Ziggy, no one has heard from him since the day of the trial. But brigadiers across Victusia tell stories of a skeletal figure and his ghostly companion passing through their camps at night, always smiling. That, I'm afraid, is where our story ends. But fret not, 
For Victuja is always in need of chefs with the strength of the tides, the flames of curiosity, and the endurance of the earth. We may yet meet again.